Hello, and good evening, everyone, to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. Woo! Um, tonight's going to be an interesting, <laughs> interesting evening based on how we left off last week. We'll get to that here in a moment. Uh, first and foremost, let's get to our announcements. Uh, at the top, uh, we are excited. This episode and the episodes for this month are brought to you by our new sponsor for this month, Loot Crate. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> for, uh, me, me and Marisha ourselves uh, have been uh, loot crate for years. Three years, been together. Yeah, yeah. Talisman as well. Um, but they've, they've been well. awesome enough and interested in helping us sponsor this next month of content. So uh, that being the case, if you want to go ahead and open some of these boxes real fast Yay! and see those who aren't aware of the kind of stuff that loot crate does. So um, while they're opening this, loot crate is it's like a monthly subscription box service where you. Um, it's 20 bucks a month, and you get six to eight unique items that are based on a specific oh. theme every month. Yeah. Um, Wait, you look at this multi-pass! This is the one that comes with the Harry Potter socks. I haven't gotten this one yet. Oh. Sorry, oh. Matt, you were talking. I'm sorry. Oh, no, the, oh, sorry. You're, That's okay. You're you guys show off that. what you got. I have a little cute oh, face hugger. This, this is too thing. perfect. Oh, yeah, no. Like the, drinking, yes, the drinking flat. The drinking, the drink, oh. drinking horns with a little carry carry on. I got a shofar. <laughs> Let's show uh, I'm, still saying, I'm, I'm still saying we should rename the show Critical Role for this month. I'm just saying. No, <laughs> no, no, no. no I'm, I'm good. Uh, this is good on that. Thank you. Labyrinth T-shirt, which, uh, which uh, Travis is oh, wearing. Travis is actually Travis wearing. He already has. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. If David Bowie can't keep you alive, I don't know what can. <laughs> Oh, and the pin has a D20 on it. Yeah, no, it's a beautiful pin. Oh, the original oh, that's so War thematic. of the Worlds. And there's, there's a pin Earth in every box. That's, pretty that's cool. so awesome. So yeah, so so the cool thing about this, um, Rapture, you, uh, they send you a new crate every month that has a certain theme and the content and that is based around that theme. Um, if you go to www.lootcrate.com slash critical role, you can enter the code critical role, one word, uh, to save $3 on any new subscription. So if you've ever been thinking about it and you want to get yourself uh, try it out for a little while. Go ahead and use our code and get yourself a nice little discount, which is rad. Yeah. Yay. Um, the other neat thing about loot crate boxes is you can turn them inside out and they become something yeah, and they get fancy. This, this one's an arcade machine. This one's got a maze on the inside. Yeah, I keep you can actually all my turn stuff in these boxes. Wait, did you yeah, they're show off or, or, or re gifting boxes. Okay, that's pretty rad. Yeah. Yeah. This is rad. Is that the invasion box? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember when we got that one. A quest box, and there's a power box, but we don't have that yet. Not yet. Power box, I think, is this month. So that'll be fun. I know, the X-File, there's That's so much cool. X-File stuff in here, this is awesome. <laughs> that was a good month. I think May is uh, is like World of Warcraft, DBZ. Uh, it's got all cool. these like amazing things, and I was like, I'm a part of all of these things, and I want it! Space <laughs> oh, oh, Invaders. I, know, I like it. It is essentially it's a really tiny pre dog. pre stream Christmas is turned into. <laughs> and this is sorry, how quickly sorry. you can turn dog the box toys. inside. We're gonna stop. Oh. And now you have a 3D puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you can watch us open sorry. stuff all night. Yeah. I've already <laughs> lost. <laughs> I've already <laughs> lost control of the episode. The slaughter oh, for oh, go to Loot oh, Crate. Oh, click the link. Okay. Go some love. So yeah, lootcratecom slash critical role. You can put in critical role in the uh, as as your code there, and you'll get a three percent off your subscription. So uh, three dollars off. Three dollars. Yeah, sorry, $3, three dollars. I think percent. Three dollars. I'm gonna keep him silly. Much better than three percent. I'm yes. so stupid. Three dollars. It's awesome. Yeah, that's good. Thank you, Luke Great. Good show. Thanks, Luke Great. Um, <laughs> next up, next announcement we have. For those who who missed it previously, it is now available. The latest issue of Rat Queens. Yeah. Which, uh, in which Vox Machina. Uh, yes. Make a, a cameo appearance during a certain bar crawl what portion of the uh, issue. Come on! And some really some awesome. some wayward bard ends up trying to buy a drink what? Uh, for one of the members. I love He's got it. glorious hair. His though. glorious hair, which mine is shorter now, but it'll grow. Don't worry, those of you who freaked out. Um, <laughs> I've already gotten like people like you got it. I'm like it's hair. <laughs> <laughs> I live in the valley where it's hot. It is really well. It's, it's not really hot, hot right now. No, not today. Today's weather. The weather's be. been nice. It will be. Um, it so yeah. Uh, next up on the list, Talison. What? Uh, <laughs> supposedly, for those who haven't seen it, uh, the next run on Signal Boost, the show that Marisha writes and produces for, uh, has a new person hosting the next series of episodes. Who's hosting the new series? What? Of <laughs> I better start working on that right now. Yeah, you now. should. Yeah, you should. 
Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm really, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm putting it together. We're putting it together, and I. It's gonna be weird. We're going even weirder. It's gonna be so out there. So uh, for everyone who already hates how weird it is, it's buckle gonna up. be weird. <laughs> 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 All right. Mild nude stretch. Awesome. So, <laughs> look for that. Um, all right. Uh, also, there is a new series of uh, website, Geek and Sunday website content coming up called Ask Vox Machina, um, yes. in which Vox Machina members have been written to by various m people living in the world of Tal'Dorei asking how to solve their problems. And <laughs> our Ridiculous. wondrous players here are answering yeah. them in character. I believe the first one is going to be Sam, right? Yeah, I, I, uh, <laughs> Scanlan got some great letters uh, from oh the God. fans, and he replied with some award-winning advice. Fantastic advice. I'm sure so he did. check that out tomorrow on geekandsundry.com. There you go. Participation <laughs> awards all around. Oh, there's next. You see anticipation awards? Participation. Oh, I like anticipation I awards, too. Anticipation awards. That's good. It's coming, um, I swear. There's a video game that uh, some people may have heard of called Uncharted 4 that's coming up. Oh my god! Yay! Views have been coming out and everyone's giving it like the best game of forever. It's um, amazing, it's amazing. So, uh, and and I believe one of our own Vox Machina um, plays a rather awesome role in that, Laura. Hey! Oh! Yay! Yeah! Uh, Dean Ross. Uh, in, yeah. In the story, and so she's a villain, so you get to like face off with her. It's really fun. That's exciting. Yeah. You're a good actor. Oh, well, 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 why is so good? You act good. And in the multiplayer, you might hear me try and kill you a couple times. That's right. It's not and as cool. Kill him a lot hey, for what he's about like to do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you, uh, you also might hear me try to heal you a couple times. Okay, so between us, we'll be yeah. got That's you. That's right. I remember when we were going in for multiplayer, it was like we've got several members of Vox Machina as the <laughs> multiplayer characters. It was pretty freaking cool. Should be fun. Yeah. Um, all right. Also, we, we put the new. Title the full title intro on Yay. Facebook yesterday, so you guys see it in its high dev uh, glory at your request. And we've already hit a million views in a, in a day, <laughs> which is weird. It's Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, it's a good. It's a good time when you can dress up as your D and D characters for a weekend, and and people on Facebook are like, cool. Like that's the weirdest <laughs> yeah. thing ever. A million people um, go. Huh. Cool. huh, that's a thing. <laughs> Although I did get made fun of already for it. Did you? Some fan pointed out that I looked stupid. Well, what? did they really? Well, I'm gonna kill him. I or wouldn't her, call that person a fan that's necessarily. The <laughs> you see that? No, oh, I love the intro. Look, oh, Billy looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I wrote that. I just made a name. It was Sam. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, all right, last couple things uh, here. The the title song actually for that intro, um, written by our wondrous friend of the show, Jason Charles Miller, who, Charles Miller! You, who you saw play as Garthok, the half orc rogue, uh, a number of episodes back, who wrote our original theme and the new one, has it up on iTunes. So if you want to have the most badass nerdy ringtone and or music to play <laughs> on repeat until you start bleeding out of your nose, um, that is now available on iTunes. So you can search for the Critical Role intro music. It's awesome. Zach. Uh, all right, uh, Liam, you want to take it away? We've come a long way <laughs> to get here tonight. It's true we may die. And no. when our bones are turned to dust, carry them away in Wormwood Gaming, gaming. Boxes. <laughs> <laughs> the finest oh, wooden boxes for carrying the remains of the dead ever. <laughs> and uh, dice. They're great. Oh, and you can put dice in them too, which yeah. is probably their yeah, intended would, purpose. Yeah, sure. And uh, if you like them, they have many different kinds of yes. woods. You go to wormwoodgaming.com. Uh, like and <laughs> if you want to pay for shipping, you can. But if you don't want to pay for shipping, use the code CRITROLL. CRITROLL! Crit 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 Feels so good. Uh, and you'll get free shipping. And then also, lastly, this is the last couple of hours for their Kickstarter oh. for the Sentinel box. Did you can did get our logo onto any box like this, or you can get the real swag and get the master ah. box that looks like this or on any wood. And uh, you put your dice in it. Put your dice in it, cards you put in your it. deck in it. The deck. My favorite the part of, of Wormwood Gaming is the magnets. Yeah, yeah. Magnets, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> How do That's they work? So satisfying. <laughs> so satisfying. I sit there for hours by myself. Just, I don't do that. That's weird. So that Kickstarter, a couple more hours, then finito if you want to get in on that. Okay. Cool. And last but not least on my list, it says Death to All Puppies. Uh, I don't know who wrote what? that. What? Wow. No. Who would write that? Kev it was you, Stole Matt. It was Dak. you. Better it was not than, than us. I'm going to assume it's Sam. If I have to have, make a choice, Sam. puppies go. Totally trash. Yeah, <laughs> Someone. All right. Well, then. 
No. Let's go ahead and bring this down now. No. No, 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 no. We get in the mood for tonight's no, episode. No, 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 no. Roll. Welcome back. So, leaving off uh, from last week's episode, we, uh, the party of intrepid adventurers Vox Machina, having uh, trying to save the whole of Tal'Dorei from the Chroma Conclave, a collection of chromatic dragons that have destroyed many of the main cities here, have gone about searching for items called the Vestiges of Divergence, magical artifacts from a war of ancient times that apparently hold some great power that could aid in defeating these dragons. Uh, one of which apparently is being held by Kevdak, the leader of the Herd of Roaming, kind of uh, uh, tribal, barbaric, you know, individuals that Grog once belonged to and uh, had beaten the crap out of and left Grog for dead long ago. Um, while the dragons had destroyed part of Western and left it behind, this tribe utilized that time to take over the town, enslaving or keeping most of the people under their thumb uh, and making an accord with the one black dragon, Umbrasil, that is currently kind of uh, in a tenuous relationship right now with these uh, these herd members, um, herd of the storm, as they're known, um, you having sent a few of them to their death via a trap on the outside, found your way into the city, saved some of the uh, individuals that lived there, as well as Kaylee and Doctor Dranzel, uh, and Grog went ahead and issued a challenge uh, to the herd to meet with Kevdak himself uh, after some. Fairly decent intimidation checks. It was agreed, and while most of the party stealthed behind, you made your way to the very center of the town square, where Kevdak left off the top of the uh, ex Margrave's homestead, and uh, the two of you began to do battle in a pit of spikes that was gathered in the center of the town square, surrounded by a number of the uh, the clan watching on. Uh, during this fight, it went back and forth a bit before. Uh, Grog felt that this was a losing battle should it continue in this way and decided to, um, uh, at least to me, call out to his friends for aid with the uh, the classic uh, Shakespearean battle cry of Vox Machina, Fuck shit up! <laughs> That's from Coriolanus. Oh, sorry, Coriolanus, thank you. Heavy on the ice. Um, and with that is where we're picking up, so. Before we go. Yes. I have to inspire everyone with this. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! What did when did you do what that? Are you? What the Where fuck are you? What the fuck are you? Oh my god! Uh, I want a D10. I look, I look, Ashley's like <laughs> somewhere. I can't even see her. She's on your way. Oh, no. oh, oh. Please tell me that was a gift from somebody. No, I made this myself. <laughs> I wanted you all to know how passionate I was about tonight. Sam? Oh I love God. you so much. Could you kiss your right gun? <laughs> Is Ashley no, there? Your, right your, gun. your other gun. Yeah. Kiss that bicep, Kiss man. it, kiss it! it. Yeah! yeah. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. oh, God! Oh, God! Tastes like strawberries. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and sweat. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Holy <laughs> shit. Inspiration granted, then immediately oh, taken away. Do your pants also have photoshopped <laughs> lightning Wait, coming out of the crotch? No, my, my pants are just jeans. Okay. <laughs> Wait, but how far down does it go? It's the all first, the way, baby. Yeah, all the way. <laughs> wow. It's the first step of the process. Oh my the, the, the pants come soon. Did you like bring soon. that at home with like a... Yeah, I just I penciled. Yeah, at home. <laughs> 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 she just stippled it. I can't even. That, okay. that's, that's, <laughs> that's a thing. That's a thing. Oh my god. I, All righty. All right. So, Cheers. with that, we are going into the realm of battle. <laughs> Let's go and kick on the proper music for this. So, with Vox Machina currently on the rooftops here and hiding within the, bat, the bottom of this building. We have the four archers that have appeared on the rooftop of the Margrave's house. We have uh, most of the individuals that are surrounding this, along with the few innocents, which, uh, just for the sake of, of appearance here, I will go ahead and attempt to mark with a few markers so you know who you're looking for innocence-wise. Oh so. boy. We're the innocents, Matt. We're the innocents. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're not. <laughs> not anymore. All right, so. So the red, the red markers are going to ma um, act as markers for the innocent. Just so you're aware. I, you, you, you have been trolling us the entire time. Person. And that little kid over there. You're on that roof. I'm, I'm over in the top right corner. You see me up there? Yeah, I'm, I'm Percy's over right there. there. All righty. I'm going to so. laugh at those archers if they try shit. That all being the case, guys, as Grog shouted, at this moment, the individuals in the center of the, uh, the square start looking around confused, not knowing where to come from. At this moment, a few of them manage to catch up a, a, a glance at the individuals that are on the rooftops. I need everyone to roll initiative, along with you, Grog, because combat has begun again at this point at the top. Ah! You can yell it. Wait, all of us? All of us! Come on, where have you This has started. Oh, okay, all right. Which yeah. one? Yeah. Good job, though. Good job, baby. I mean, that's, that's not amazing. That's okay. That's better. All right. Okay. No! Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. No! 14. Okay. Wait, did you roll? No, no, that one. 14. But, like, I'm still. You're still ahead of me? No. You better with a shot. Oh, shit. You rolled, a, you rolled a nat 20? But. But. You can, you can, you can hold. What's he laughing? Because he's fucking evil. Because <laughs> he's fucking evil? Is that what you said? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> you can, you can, you can also, you can move and then hold, and move, take your bonus action. All right. So, okay. for the sake of this one, uh, we have 25 to 20. 27. 27. Damn. Damn, girl. All right. 24. 24. You, 21. 21. Okay, so we have. Let's see. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. What are we doing? Oh my god. Oh, people wanted to go first. first, first. <laughs> yep. No, it's a, see. All right, 20 to 15. Wait. Oh, you're 20. Okay, so. 18. 18. Already? Did you roll me? Yeah, I rolled roll me. Yeah, do whatever you want. Yeah. All right, uh, 15 to 10. 14. 14. 13. 12. Yeah, yeah. Pike, getting in the double digits. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on you up. You know. You know. I'd rather have my low roll right here. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. It's like a roller coaster. We're just going to <laughs> tick, 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 I'm tick, 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 <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. But no, 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 and uh, these these two uh, women here with the big swords, and Kevdak. So, top of the round. It's neat. Vex. Uh, does the second story of the house that I'm in have windows? Can I? Uh, the second story does. Can I run up the stairs Ooh, then, so I can get a better look at um, yeah. the the playing field? Yeah, 
Actually, this one was supposed to go this way for the entrance point there. Okay. All right. So you are currently now looking out the side of the window. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm already hiding. Right, right. no one's seen you at this okay, point. Okay, then I'm going to Hunter's Mark Kevdak. Okay. And I'm going to... I'm going to... Hold my turn. Just putting a green on him for the uh, hunter's mark. Hunter's mark. I'm gonna hold my turn until it seems like he's better incapacitated, or until like something happens. I'm gonna hold, hold my. Hold your turn. action until until. Until he is, um, until I, I think until Scanlan goes. Okay. Who are you? I'm, I'm already. I'm here to help. Yeah. So that finishes your turn. Uh, yeah. Vax, you're up. Uh, I, am I at a window as well downstairs? Uh, you are by a door. Am I like half on the street? Like, uh, in the door? You're in the house. You're right. inside the house right now. The, the door is technically partially ajar because you guys did slip in. All right, I'm going to fight. click my boots. Okay. Crack the door a few Which inches, and I'm going to hold my turn until one of our magic users pulls a trick or or Kevdak takes a swing at Grog. Okay. That'll end your current <coughs> actions. The archers are surprised they do not go. It is Kevdak's turn. Oh, Kevdak sees you Shit. shouting out Shit. to the. Here, here, roll a natural 20 on his initiative. No, he, he did didn't! Not. That's why you shook your fucking oh. head! Yeah. I was like, man, this. All right, let's start this right. Oh, God. That's Wheaton! Fucking Wheaton! Fucking Wheaton! Fucking Wheaton! <laughs> They had Wheaton come in and Waste touch all my stuff. No time. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So he's going to go ahead and, seeing you shout like this, he looks about for a second. Uh, he's going to continue his rage. Um, uh, he is okay. He glances about, looks over, and yeah. He's, I, I was going to say I'm hiding though. So. He's, he sees nothing immediately on the rooftops, but looks down at this this individual now shouting out for help before him, frustrate. And he kind of look, gives you a glance and says, Well, this seems real familiar, doesn't it, Strongjaw? Um, at which point he's going to go ahead and take uh, two of his reckless attacks against you. Oh. That's going to be you a. Could, you had a. I could, yeah. Okay, I was just yeah. reminding you. You don't have to. I know. Okay. No, don't do it. Sorry. All right. Uh, that's going to be a 28 to hit. Uh, I'll have to look, but I think it yeah. is. <laughs> Second attack oh, well, I, I, is a uh, 30 to hit. These aren't great weapon Jeez. master, right? 30 to hit. No, these are not great okay, weapon yeah. master. Yeah, that, that hits too. 30 to hit? Yeah. You what is his attack, attack fucking bonus? Off the charts. I don't know. Insane. Yeah. At least 10. At least 12. 10. Oh, higher than that. Fuck. You take 30 points of slashing damage. This is from the first shot? Reduced to 15. Fine. And, uh... Gulp? Wow. Uh, two points of necrotic damage, because it's not reduced. Right. And the second one is going to be... 22 points of slash damage reduced to 11, and then five points of necrotic on top of that. However, for the second slash, I'm going to use cutting words to reduce the damage. Okay. So, uh... Before he does that, you said 17 on the first one, 11 on the second attack, and how much necrotic on the second? Five necrotic. Five. Seven overall. Because two necrotic on the first hit. Two, two, 60 C to you makes a thing. Six points of damage, like, you know, well... No. How often can so, you do that? You have to get a little bit closer to make sure that you can he can hear you. Plus, that would be giving away your, yeah. giving away your, your position. Hiding. What are you going to do, Sam? Cutting words are word. I step forward closer to him and I, I use cutting words. Okay. <coughs> Using this as a way to keep it up there. You step to the very edge of the rooftop here. Oh my god. Say for the sake of this, right there. And I shout, Oi, Kevdak! I have a message from the people of Westron. And I, I moon him. <laughs> <laughs> And I say, kiss our metaphorical hairy asses. <laughs> Just like that on your shirt. Yes. Uh, <laughs> as he brings around his uh, axe for a second swing, he hears that and glances over his shoulder and sees the shiny gnome butt up off the top. <laughs> Continuing the swing, though, to attack, go ahead and reduce the damage using your uh, cutting words. Uh, 10, right? Uh huh. One. Oh. 
<laughs> so, you take 10 points of slashing damage from that strike. Yep. Um, Reduced to. Uh, oh, that counts. <laughs> reaction. Oh, you're wielding Myth Carver, so his next saving throw is at disadvantage. Yes, it right. is. Right. Okay. Uh, that will end. Well, no, Kevdak is going to, because you're not currently wielding your weapon, he's going to go ahead and take a step back and kind of like glance over at you as he's going to move his fingers up and point towards the roof, and you see a bunch of the other entities and the archers whoosh, shift their attention over in your direction, Sam. Um, all right, that finishes Kevdak's turn. Uh, Scanlan, you're up next. Yeah, yeah, I know. Actually, you do get an attack, uh, attack of opportunity on him. Don't with take fist. it. Yeah, because okay. <laughs> you're not holding your Warhammer right now. I rolled a five plus what? I mean, My strength? Well, it's, 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 yeah, your strength modifier plus your proficiency modifier. Should be five plus. Ten, three. So 13. 13 now. Yeah. You punch the back of his. Uh! his you punch his back and boom, it just kind of hits off hey! his muscle. You keep your eyes open. All right, same here. Okay. From my crouched butt out position, whilst holding my hand cone of clarity. <laughs> where are you, where no, are you holding it? No, 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 yeah, no, no what? It's shoved yeah, up between there. Between the legs upside down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the old, the old upside down. All right. Uh, before, before I make this attack, when I scanned around, did I see any of his allies without any weapons or carrying a staff or something like that? Uh, no, they're all, they're all the kind of, you know, the type of people that would be at all times wielding something at their side. There are two individuals that you do notice. Um, there is this one here, and there is uh, Greenbeard right there, and they both appear to have some sort of a quarter staff type walking up on them, but everything else seems bladed or giant clubs or some sort of big melee. But implement. they're surprised anyway. Uh, they are, yes. Okay. Okay. Well then, I will cast Hold Person at level three. Uh, on Kevdak. On Kevdak. Yes. You can cast what? What? Hold person. person. Okay. Oh boy. At level three, so I get to target one other individual. You you would yeah. And I would target the beardy guy with the staff. Beardy beardy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Hold person. For a minute. You know, See, Cross wisdom saving everything. throw, Pellets for the duration, okay. Wisdom yeah. saving throw with disadvantage. With disadvantage, yes, that is true. <coughs> Kevdak, oh, all right. Because of okay, cutting no, no, that was good, that was good. <laughs> That's a, t oh, nice. he, rolled, he rolled a 19 and an eight. Um, <gasps> taking the eight, that brings it to a 10. Um, so that's a failure on him. Oh, yeah! That's good, that's good, that's good. Dun, 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 dun. Does whole person, can you, does he damn, can you? He's paralyzed. Him? Does it paralyzed. unparalyze him if we hit him? Okay, sure. uh, no, he takes no. it. just paralyzed. Yeah. You can have at him. And uh, <laughs> can I still move and do other things? Uh, you can in a, in a moment. We have to figure out if uh, if the other guy makes a save. Oh, that's right. Uh, he rolls a natural one. Great. Like, straight up a natural. Yay! Oh man, the rest of these people are gonna be real pissed. <laughs> uh, this oh. is where my hell turn comes Me in. Me too, but I was in front of you. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you hit him, does he become not paralyzed? No, yeah. no, 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 he's no. stuck. He's stuck. Okay. Yes. Oh, he, the end of each of his turns, the target can make another wisdom saving throw. Um, and paralyzed, uh, for those who are aware, but paralyzation does. Paralyzed creature is incapacitated, it can't move or speak. Automatically fails strength and dexterity saving throws. Attack rolls have advantage. And any attack that hits the target is a critical hit if it's within five feet of the creature. Oh, five feet. Damn. That's oh, but that's good for Gronk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, Wait, I still get my move, right? Oh. You do. Okay. I'm gonna. Is there any cover? Are there chimneys? Are there anything I There's can a, duck you, behind? I mean, you can duck behind the other side of this roof if you'd like. And still maintain sight. Oh wait, uh, no, I'd be more than 60 feet away. Yeah, you'd be more. Than, <laughs> okay. you know, I mean, it, it's more the casting time. You can still move away once you've cast the spell and hold it there. Okay. And then I'll duck back behind some cover. Okay. And as my bonus, I still get a bonus, I will inspire Grog, and I'll say, Grog! Now it's your turn to fuck shit up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, that finishes your turn, Scanlan? Yeah, that's it. Grog, you're up. Yes! He's paralyzed. Yes, okay. yes. and you, you will you, automatically you, you watch as he steps away from you, points <clears throat> up, and all, all the, the arch, archers turn towards that. Everyone else looks over at the rooftop, and you hear just, a uh, cacophony of voices around going, just growling before Kevdat takes another step and 
and you see the gleaming ass of Scanlan in the distance, the, the high <laughs> noonday sun kind of just bouncing off of his pale, sun-dappled gnomish skin. Uh, <laughs> these two round globes of victory staring down oh from the rooftop. God. Round globes of victory. Oh, wow. I love it. So descriptive. You can all walk around to the front of Kevdak. Do you want to pick up your weapon first, or? Nope. Nope. Oh, oh, shit. Do, do the twins go first or does Grog go first? Okay. Oh, is it okay oh, oh yeah, you, yeah, you, you no, gotta no, go, go, take your go, reaction. Go. So, yeah. up to you. Really? Okay, take do your reaction. Thing, take your reaction. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Yep. All right, so we have now uh, Vex, yes. take your shots. Yes, I'm gonna shoot from my longbow of the Sky okay. Sentinel. Okay, go so for it. So it's three attacks on the first attack. Yes, and they all have advantage because he's paralyzed. This is bad for Kevdak, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so. Still raging, so everything's still at half damage. So 19 plus 12 probably hits on the first attack. And yeah, that does. Okay. Uh, 19 plus 12 hits on the second. Yep. And 17 plus 12 hits on the third. Yeah, they all hit. Okay. <laughs> I'm adjusting my glasses, I'm so nervous. Okay. Uh, 28 on the first hit. 28, which is at 14, okay. Uh, nine, no, 21 on the second hit. Woo! Okay, reduce that yes. to... Exalia. Get him, BB. Uh, 16 on the third hit. Okay, mine's up to eight. So all the arrows strike true. Boom, 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 boom. But still, each one is only piercing the flesh so far. He's just generally so dense in his musculature Dick. that each impact is not having the same satisfying shoop sound that you're used to. Mm. Uh, but that ends your act, held action, and it is now your turn. Oh, but I get another attack, because that's just Oh, that's right, that, that was the Sky Sentinel. Go yeah. for it. So take, right. take your second attack. My second attack, I'm going to take it Greenbeard, <clears throat> and I'm going to um, shoot through the uh, flaming bowstring. Okay. Um, 17 plus 12 probably hits. Was what? 17 plus 12. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 14 on that one. A 14, okay. Yeah. 14 damage to him. Greenbeard is currently stuck there in place. The air just sinks into his robe, and you don't even see the impact. It just kind of like absorbs into the cloth, and he goes, Ugh! and you hear the kind of the escaping oh. air from the impact, but he can't actually move. Uh, Hunter's Mark. I, I Hunter's oh, you, Mark. You, I, Hunter's you, Mark you, but you did the damage. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. At this point, you better. We're not panicking. No, not at all. No, no not no. at all. Hunter's Mark. I did it, I swear. All right. Where's our chalkboard? Just to verify. <laughs> Just yes. a fair ride, because Kevdak is still raging, am I denied the, su the surprise attack from inside here? Correct. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use a sharpshooter and drop five to hit harder. <coughs> I'm gonna throw uh, a dagger at advantage, yeah. So you're moving up into the doorway. Yeah, to the doorway, right, so the Who first. Who are you attacking? Kevdak. Kevdak, all right. 60 feet. 60 feet, you'd, okay, yeah, you can get right into there and probably still hit him from here. Yeah, because okay. you have sharpshooter, you don't have the second increment range, go for it. Right, so it's 25. That hits. Yeah. Big gulp. Four, oh, hold on, I'll save that four. 25, uh, okay. So six, four plus six, 10, 15, 21, uh, 26, 27, uh, 31. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 30, 37. 37. Yeah, 37. Half of that. That's going to put it at 18. Okay. I'd like to use my bonus action to throw the next. Uh, you you got to go action. The held action, 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 action. Oh, action yeah, you is just your action. The boots of haste already, I thought that was a, a gimme. Oh, that's the bonus? No, action? that's your bonus because we held our yeah, well, 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 the, the idea being that when you hold your action, yeah. you have an action that you hold till it triggers. Yeah. And you wait for the bonus action is a whole different thing that you have to take on your turn. So taking taking a hold is an action. I don't understand. Holding your turn loses your bonus. Yeah, action. essentially you have you have you have your, your action okay. and your bonus action. Move to your holding bonus your action. Hold your action means you hold that one bit, okay. but the rest of your turn still continues past okay. it. So. Uh, which doorway? Where am I on the map? I can right see here. myself right there. Uh, could I get? Could I run to the corner of the building that the archers are on and scrabble up the side of it over here and get to that archer? 
You can certainly try it. So it's. <laughs> you rush past one of the peasants who's just fear in their face, and they're just confused, looking around. You see there's mud and a little like trickle of blood that's dried down their face. As you just shift by, and they go. Ah, ah. You don't even pay too much mind to them. It's fine. 10, 15, 30, 30, what is that? 40, 40, 40, 50. Make an acrobatics check. Uh, 30. 30. You managed to make it up to the top. Uh, Do I have an action left? At this point? No, use your action. Action, action, bonus action with no bonus. The Technically, you wouldn't be able to move at this point even, but I'm letting you do that. All right. Usually, your your All move, right. your it, all right. So it's I'm out of weird. gas. So yeah. Okay. This is the most epic map ever, by the way. Yeah. I think it's just chilling in the house. <laughs> Alrighty. So that ends your hell action. Now, Grog, you're up. Can I walk around to the front of Kevdak, please? Okay. Please. <laughs> Knowing that he pointed up with a hand at Scanlan's beautiful ass, mm -hmm. and still on his great axe, paralyzed, can I try and rip, continuing my rage because he hit me last round, can I pull the axe from his hand? Go ahead and make an athletics check. He's gonna fail, that's right. With advantage, because you are raging. 27. <laughs> yes. Yes. The blood axe from his grip. Yes. Because I'm frenzied raging. Can I have? Do I have another move? Uh. I mean, you, like, can I hit him with it? Can uh. I, let's 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 check on that. Cause some, I don't know if it's an attack action based. Cause you didn't take yeah. an attack action this turn. You used your action and pulled it away. Yeah. Um. So looking at that right now, is the berserker is here. Let me see. Does that mean you Lots of rules them? tonight, guys. <laughs> All the rules. Upper That's level rules. rules. No, it's a bonus action, so yeah, you would if you want to. Oh! The weapon isn't attuned to you, so it would just act as a regular axe, possibly. Make it attuned to you. But just throw it away. It's a short, short rest. Short rest. Or, or can <laughs> I or put it in the bag of holding. Can I, looking at the <laughs> axe, say, oh, I do hope you have a necromancer in your group. Because I'm looking at a fucking dead man. <laughs> <laughs> can I aim right above the gauntlet, below the elbow on his left arm? Uh, like just sw just swing to his side with the axe. On his left arm? Sure. Okay. Uh, you're gonna be. It's gonna be even. Okay, so you're raging. I'm raging. Advantage. advantage. Uh, well, no, a reckless attack would be the advantage if you wanted to. Well, he did it against me, so I get it against him. We have advantage against his attacks with him anyway, just oh, because right. he's, he's paralyzed. Um, I'll say it'll have advantage. In that. Yeah, no. Okay, you have advantage in the attack, but I will, I will say it's a general minus five to the attack, just because it's like a very specific called shot. Go for it. Okay. Do it. Do it. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> uh, Twenty. All right. Go ahead and roll damage. I don't know what the attack bonus is with the axe. But uh, it's, it's a d12, and add your strength modifier. Okay. Where is it? Jesus. That's I mean, it, that's 12, it, the top 12s one. are always the that's one that, that look weird. Which one? That I'm, one. I'm up, literally that blind. That's one? Four, yeah. four d12. Yeah, no, you so wouldn't. Have it. D12 plus what? Like strength yeah. modifier, which would be? Character wouldn't. Uh, three. 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 Oh. Uh, so five. Five. That's just so sexy. You hack the blade, and it sinks quite a bit into the arm right above the elbow. You can see as you pull it out, a bit of bone is exposed from it, but the arm is still intact. And it, it wasn't enough him. damage to go through, but he's like, Ugh! and it hit him, right? Yeah. So is it an automatic critical because it hit? Uh, because you were within five feet. So yes. So that. So double, double, double the there. dice. So would you own the dice? So it was a two. So four. So instead, it would be seven damage. Still not enough. Okay. Uh, but but you do do a significant amount of damage to his left arm. Okay. And is now open hands gripping nothing. Well, actually, the one hand was holding the axe, the other one he was pointing up. So he's like, <laughs> looking at you right now as the blood begins to just kind of seep out of the fresh wound on his left arm. Do I have any of my movement left? Could I move around behind him? Uh, 50. You can move three more spaces, so yeah. I'll, move, I'll either flank him, yeah. Three, that's where you can get right there. Okay. That ends your turn. Uh, surprise back. Percy, you're up. That's gonna be fun. Let's see what happens. Um, 
All right, uh, first thing I'm going to do is cast Hex on uh, Kevdak, on the asshole. <laughs> I'm going to Hex him. Cast Hex on the asshole. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, so he is now enveloped in my in my dark smoke of death. Uh, he's nice. also now at disadvantage to all strength checks. Okay. That's just a thing. That's a thing with Hex. That's all a right. thing. That's a thing that's so, uh, not going away. So, so yeah, so you watch as, as, Grag, as, as Grog walks around him, Grog's shadow seems to stretch out from his form, reach up and wrap itself around, almost merging with the tattoos across his torso. Uh, the actual bear tattoo almost seems to be almost uh, covered with shadow. I'm gonna. I love um, you. I know. I'm so happy. I'm gonna take just a little step back to 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 get just a slight bit of cover from those archers for when they start hearing the big bang bangs coming from the from the house. Just just to get like half cover. But uh, so I can. Which way are you going? You're going. Um, I'm going to my from my current vantage point to uh, about seven o'clock, eight o'clock. About here. Yeah, about there. Okay. Um, just for a little bit of cover from the from the arrows, okay. and I can still see Kevdak. So. Yes, you can. Um. So if I wanted to start, if I wanted to take my little pistol and just start carving a little, a little, and I've got a little nice little chunk of bone I can see in his arm, can I, can I start sharpshootering? Can I take a sharpshooter uh, disadvantage to hit that point? Uh, you could, yeah. Um, Put this forward a little bit so you guys can see here. So uh, I'm going to shoot with sharpshooter uh, for specifically for his arm. Um, uh, his, his left arm, you do not have a view on her. Oh. I would say from your perspective on the rooftop, because he was turned this way and is facing up this way, you, yeah, you have just a big old view of his back and shoulders. Okay, I'm gonna take a shot for the elbow. I'm gonna start trying to on this arm. I'm on yeah, the el the visible elbow. Okay, I'm just gonna sharpshooter through that shit. See what happens. Okay, uh, go for it. Okay, I'm, and I'm happy if you want to put any weird disadvantage. You have advantage on the attack because he's paralyzed. No, I don't, because I'm in because di mm -hmm. I'm at distance. Or do I have advantage? Paralyzed. Oh, he's yeah, paralyzed. He's I have paralyzed. advantage. Paralyzed. On the you have advantage on that, and then you have disadvantage because it's a called shot plus minus five. Okay, that's fine. I'll but I, do I get the bonus ten points still? You would if you hit. Okay. Good. All right. That's fine. Natural twenty. Oh! Oh my God! Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Should have used the big gun. Really. All right. That's okay. Um, so that's, oh, hello, baby. You're over here. Actually, I'm gonna use the pink one. What's the first range increment for the pistol? Uh, 400 feet. Yeah, okay. I'm scary. <laughs> Gun. I, I know, Go sorry. For it. I know, I thought about that. Uh, come on, baby, no whammies. Uh, do I just double the dice? Just double the dice and then add the modifier to it. Okay, so that's, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. 32 points of damage for the first shot. 32 points of damage? Okay, half of that into 16. You watch as the blast hits into the side of this arm. The arm actually uh, over hyperextends, what? and part of the bone oh. shoots out this side. And he goes, oh, just kind of out. Um, the arm's not, you know, it looks like it's in a rough place. I'm shooting again. Same, Same thing. thing. Pew, pew. Go oh my god, he's gonna shoot his arm do off. Again, Let's do it again. So good. Seventeen. Good Seventeen. Yeah. I'm rolling good. Gold Seventeen. Switch. Twenty-seven. Uh, with a disadvantage. Uh, with disadvantage. No, no, it cancels out because he's because he's there's no advantage, no disadvantage, right? Yeah. Advantage because he's paralyzed. Yeah. Disadvantage. Yeah. yeah right, so just, right. just straight roll. Uh, First seven, man. Seventeen. Eight, nine, 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 Twenty-five to hit. That hits. This is like 127 hours, except mm. with a gun. <laughs> That's my title of my 127 hours and with really, a gun. This is happening in about 10 seconds. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I actually also I rolled the wrong die. I took he didn't take nearly, but, but that's okay. So oh. here. too late. I know, too late. <laughs> too late. I know. I fucked that up. Uh, yeah, I know, so I did okay. I did okay. Um, oh. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, uh, eight. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. 24 points of damage. Yeah. 24 points of damage minus that to 12. Uh, to the same. This is the same elbow. Same elbow. <laughs> you see now the uh, the arm actually is kind of dangling now oh from uh, what looks like some sort of sinew and Die. bone that is just kind of uh, barely keeping it on at this pink point. Do I go for or do I go I'm gonna go for my third. Uh, can I borrow your pink D6? I wanna I wanna Bowie you wanna this shit. You wanna go all? You wanna go all Bowie? Yeah. I wanna be flamboyant as fuck. All right, I'm gonna call it. Uh, fourteen. Uh. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 24 to hit. That hits. Oh my God. Goodbye, elbow. Yep. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, well, not bad. Five, six, seven, uh, 17, uh, 17, uh, 17, uh, 23 points of damage. Woo! Lower that to 11. Okay, um, 
this shot hits the elbow again, actually like destroying a, a big portion of the upper forearm. It's now essentially, but a, but a single th- oh. kind of leftover bicep muscle that's kind of holding it in place as blood just kind of pouring from the wound right now. Who wants bacon? All right, I'm calling it for now. All right, that ends Percy's turn. Uh, well, it's not bad. Keyleth, but... you're off. I feel pretty good about that. Okay. Um, I'm going to roll up this roof in like a big ominous fog cloud. Up here? And come up. And I want to do a whirlwind on those two archers up there. Up here? Are you coming up in the here, you mean? Yep. All righty. Let's take this one here. <laughs> I don't <really> think they <laughs> So they must make a DC 13 strength saving throw. Okay. I haven't even burned any grit yet. I'm so excited. This is balancing here. There oh, we wow, go. Nicely done. A DC what? Oh no! Oh no! Dead. no! <laughs> Ironic, ironically crushed by a tree. <laughs> Curse you, you nature. Mm. All right, what's the DC on that? The thing that she loved uh, killed oh, her. DC. 13, strength. Strength? Yeah. Uh, strength so check or save? Uh, this is saving strength throw. Strength save. Oh, yeah. damn. Does he still have disadvantage? Uh, Maybe she's not attacking. Okay, no. uh, one of them fails, one of them succeeds. Okay, so the one that fails takes 3d8 plus two bludgeoning damage, <laughs> which is pretty good. Oh god, you're doing so good. You're doing so good. 11. I can hold it. Man, you're and he's good. flung 20 feet away. Embrace your chaos. In a random <laughs> direction. In a random direction? Uh-huh. All right, Choose let's go ahead and direction. see which direction now. Dice. It's, uh, Play that's a one. So he gets flung this way. <laughs> Uh, 20 feet? Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20. Ah, Ball's prone there. Another uh, 1d6 bludgeoning damage for every 10 feet he was thrown? Uh, yes, that would be. 2. Uh, 2d6, that puts it. I rolled two double sixes in that, so 12. Yo, <laughs> yeah. right. so he's knocked prone? Yeah, yes, he is. Just came out. And Uh-oh. the other guy. <laughs> as this whirlwind of. of oh, ow, ow, just, ow, ow, yeah, just. Ow, uh, you ow, see, ow. like. Um, Tasmanian <gasps> devil. Yeah. Of, of, of the roof itself up there, portions of the rooftop are cracking off and spinning, <laughs> spinning in the void of wind that Kilo is currently creating within herself. Portions of the tree branches are swirling into it as various leaves and, and uh, dead uh, plant life that have been scattered around the roof are just all filling this giant vortex that has appeared on the roof of the Margrave's house, tearing into both the arches. One of them flung off, landing face first, the other one... Takes uh, half damage. Takes half damage, okay. All right. Your turn. Five points, five points of bludgeoning damage. All right, does that finish your turn? Yep. All right, so, uh, Pike, you're up. I have a similar thing. Yeah, Pike. Roof. Pike. Come on, Pike. Pike. I, since I can't reach Kevdak, I'm just gonna send over a spiritual weapon. <laughs> okay. The range is 60 feet. Yeah. Spiritual weapon. As a cleric. That's level. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it at a higher level. I'm gonna do it at a level five. <gasps> level five? Five? five. Whoa. It's a okay. big one. All right. So. <laughs> it's in so. the shape of Madeline Kahn, and it's out for blood. We'll use this metal d20. <laughs> Where you want to place it? That's the greatest imagery I've ever, Just that is. right <laughs> uh, above him. About so we'll say, we'll say in this, in this central kind of area. Yes. Kind of area. Yes. All right, so. I don't even know, like a big, um, just like a what weapon of Saren Ray's retribution would you want to summon in spiritual form upon Kevdak? A bear trap. <gasps> I just want yes. it to be a big sword. Okay, so a, a large, sword. great hand sword, almost a light reflection, mirror image of the Craven Edge that nearly tore the soul from your friend. Yeah! The giant uh, one? A, a, a oh, yeah. large, yeah, light beautiful. blade of Saren Ray's wrath just emerges out of the stonework in the center of the square. <laughs> Floats in the air for a second. And you want to go ahead and make that. Uh, this is your bonus action. On this, shit. this is a bonus action. This is a bonus action. Yeah. Yeah. You use it. Mind you, you can only you know, if you want to use your action to cast a spell. You can't do more higher than a level two right now, um, because of the limitations on, on on spell in our homebrew. However, um, do you want to have it attack a Yeah. All right. Go ahead and roll for the attack. <laughs> yeah. With advantage. <gasps> Never mind. That would be a natural (laughs) twenty. Boom, motherfucker! (laughs) We talked for a week. (laughs) Hundreds of text messages. Hundreds of text messages. Wait till the surprise round's over. Uh, You mean all right? So you're looking at what do we do? What do we do? 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 That's four d eight. Okay, and I'm gonna use divine strike to make it five d eight. 
Uh, well, uh, that, that's only on that? your melee attacks, not your actual uh, spells. It's oh. all right, you're already about okay, ass. Hey, never mind. No, roll, the... roll 48, multiply 4 that. 48. By two. <gasps> multiply by two? Yeah, it's critical it's technically the, yeah, the one, yeah, it's critical. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, what did you say? You'd roll 48. <laughs> 48 times two. Times two. <laughs> so 22 plus your wisdom modifier. 48 was only an 30. 30. So 30, half that to 15. Hey, that's good. No, for this so guy, as, you as do, the that, blade for this guy, that's strikes epic. down onto the now currently brutalized Kevdak, who is still held in place, angrily being wailed upon by the majority of you. So much. Um, all right. So, so what else do you want to do this turn, if anything? Oh yeah, you can, you can still you can, do You can move, things. you have an action. That's a bonus! Okay, that was a bonus. Um, It'll last for a minute and it's not concentration. Yeah, I should probably, I should probably. But as a bonus tuck. action, you can make it move and attack every round, so. Awesome. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, <laughs> would it be possible to get down on that bottom roof and hide? Here? Yeah. You could, make an acrobatics check. Clang, 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 her feet actually break from the from the, the weight of the armor and the angle you hit break some of the uh, the shingles in the rooftop and you end up slipping onto your shield oh, and you slide off the roof oh. down da, 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 oh. on the ground <laughs> there. Okay. Oh, God. You take seven points of damage from the Ouch. fall and you're knocked okay, prone okay, okay, currently okay. on the ground as you now see I'm staring prone. at you. You're prone. Uh, a number of these angry herd members that are all like, like just I intent on murder at what's been happening. I still think you're really cool. It's okay, I can Pretty run rad. out of there with my We Bruce still love you. Okay. <laughs> all right, Pike, that ends your turn. Now. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. No. Gang up on I her. to do some more stuff. So. She's made of armor. It's so hot in here. here. No, it's so hot. It got no, so hot. hot. They're coming for you, Pike. You have a reaction no, or seriously. something? Seriously. Pike, Maybe. they're all coming for you. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Do you have a reaction of some sort? Uh, Do you have a reaction? Don't die, uh, you're not, you're not dying tonight! She's made of armor. Okay, we're gonna be fine, we're gonna be fine. She's made of armor, and they're, they're, they're people oh, with sticks, shit. with sharp it's sticks. Oh god, she's gonna die. She's not gonna die, she's not gonna die. It's not in my life. Not in one round. There's only one guy who ran up to her. Yeah, there's only, there's only one. Would it say reaction here? Yeah. She knows what her reaction is. All right, so. Three of these current, these, Individuals, some of which you may have passed in your times, and two of which you see are members of, they were kind of absorbed into the tribe from the, uh, uh, what was previously the Rivermaw tribe. Uh, I'll give out these angry roars and go into an immediate rage, breaking the surprise element and just charge. Three of them on you, one of them goes darting across the field right towards you, Pike. Um, with that, these, uh, let me pull up the sheet here. These uh, Herd of the Storm warmongers are going to go ape shit on your ass. Grog? That's uh, six attacks on you. Uh, because of the flanking rules, that's going to put uh, four of them at advantage. Well, that, yeah. So. Oh my god. Uh, first one is going to be a shh, 18 to hit. Misses. Misses. The first one goes and swings towards you, and you just duck underneath and woof, misses you by a mile. However, as that's happening, another blade comes the other direction. Uh, that's going to be a 25. That hits. Natural 20. Uh, and the third one, so one hit. Uh, the second one's going to be a 28. Ah. So that's two Oops. hits and a critical, and then one that doesn't have advantage on you with both strikes. That's going to be a 23 that hits, and a 16 that misses. So you do, you do have inspiration. Four hits and one crit. I can't use it on this stuff, though. Only when I attack. Yeah, you're right. Alrighty. Oh, you can use inspiration on it. So. The four hits first. <coughs> it's going to be seven, eight, 15 points of slashing damage. Reduced have to seven. Reduced to seven. Right? Nope. Uh, ooh. Uh, uh. 19 points of slashing damage, reduced to eight. Okay. 13 points of slashing damage, reduced to six. Uh, and another uh, 13 reduced to six. Now for the crit. I would like to remind you that potions are a bonus action. Uh, seven. <laughs> Thank you. 14 plus 8, that's going to be 22 points of slashing damage on that, brought, reduced to 11. On Oof, that. You are a tank. <laughs> Unless he's unconscious. Pike. Mm -hmm. 
So you're just now surrounded on all sides. Kevdak's there before you, but you've now been completely swarmed in by three of these entities. Pike, uh, this one rushes towards you. <laughs> this female half elf, you can see like a, a line of drool from her face from just the sheer speed that she was running in the froth that was kind of forming at the corner of it. She leaps into the air, blade in front, and it's going to come down in your tiny form. Uh, that's a. All right, so it's a 28 to hit on the first one. Yeah. And. Uh, 28. Rolled 18s on both of okay, the okay, ones. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so two hits on you. <laughs> you take 19 points of slashing damage from the first strike. That's that's not halved. No, no. it's only halved. Only because he's raging, okay. sorry. I'm a barbarian too! Uh, 19, uh, 19 on the first strike. Uh, the second one is 13. So that's uh, a total of 32. 32 points of slashing damage to you. Uh, and that's going to end Barbarian's turn. Everyone else finishes out surprise round. Now we're back into full initiative. Everyone's in play. Top of the round, Vex, you're up. Okay. If I aim a, an arrow, it's a disadvantage? If you aim specifically for something, yeah. it would be a disadvantage and a minus five to hit. Okay. I'm gonna cast I'm gonna cast. Um, I mean, he's paralyzed, so it would have advantage, so it would cancel out. It'd be just a regular attack at minus five. Okay, here's my question. Yes. The siege arrow that Percy gave me is that a magical weapon or a technical weapon? The technical, <laughs> technical weapon. weapon. It's used for uh, use essentially against structures. So just objects. Just structures. It's an yeah. explosive in an arrow that that is used primarily to just destroy structures. Yeah. So it wouldn't harm people. I mean, it would be like a regular arrow. It might do a little bit extra, but... Not anything crazy? Not that you know of. You don't have a full understanding of what the arrow is capable of. You do I not gave, create I it. I gave you the big debrief with the arrow. Like, I gave you the, the how to... How I know, to I know, I know, I know, I know. What are you doing? Should Hurry. Okay, 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 okay! Okay, okay. 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 I'm gonna cast Hail of Thorns at third level um, into a group, the group. Um, at no. Kev... Uh, no? Whatever you're gonna do. Just do it? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do it at Kevdak, and anything that is close to him gets hit. Okay. Anything within five feet of him? Within five. You're doing it at what level? At level three. Level three, it says 3d10 points of piercing damage. Alrighty. Um, okay, so go ahead and make an attack against Kevdak. That is gonna be, uh, yeah, with, with advantage, because it's not, a, it's not a, uh, an aimed shot, so go ahead and take it. Natural 20. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. You've been doing it all night too. I figure you know it's That's only true. fair. Holy cow! I got like one. Oh. No, you you've had more than one. Two, okay. Two, okay. Two. Oh, two. two for Kevdax. But it's not critical. That's true. Two. Three because you also have the yeah. Yeah. twenty. Could be worse. All right, so so go ahead and roll against Kevdak. Uh, that is going to be uh, six or, or three d ten times two. Oh. Well, fortune definitely. Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah twenty definitely. plus an additional. Oh no, hunter's mark dropped because it's a concentration. Yes, for that. But one. I am sneaking attacking. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. You an additional six. Yeah. Of, uh, oh, that's twelve then, because it doubles the dice, dice. right? Correct. Yeah. Yes. So, so that's 32. thirty-two points. Of thirty-two damage. on him. Yeah. Reduce that to sixteen piercing. Alrighty, uh, and then all the rest of them have to make dexterity saving throws against your spell DC. What's your spell DC? That uh, includes grog. Fifteen. Come on, groggy. What? What was it? Spell. 15. What? 15. Roll. So you gotta make a save to get out of the way. Dex save for 15. Oh. Yeah. With inspiration. With inspiration. I'm gonna need a. Your piece of box. Let's push off the two. Uh. Five. Uh, 17. Yeah. yeah! All right, so half damage to you, Grog. Okay. Um, which is half again, a quarter. Uh, because it's a whole group of raging individuals. 16, 16 half, is eight. Eight. Okay. Take eight damage. Uh, two of them succeed as well and also take eight damage. They're barbarians as well? Yep. They're raging? They're raging. Yeah. And then one of them takes full damage at 16 at the other. Okay. Let's see how it turns out. <coughs> Alrighty. Let's see how it turns out. So, that concludes your action. You want to move or to stay where you are? Um, if I lie on my broom, can I go down and grab Pike as an action? I mean, as a movement? Uh. It's going to be a hard press for you this turn to pull out your broom. I mean, have you been clutching your broom with you this whole time? You just kind of lean it up against the wall as you head down there. Stay out of the 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay where I am. And I'm gonna hide against the window so nobody can see me. Okay. You know, like so against on. To yeah, like that. Okay. Inside. Got it. I'm inside. Alrighty. Uh, all right, that brings us to the next in the initiative order, Vax. All right, I want to preface this with, uh, <laughs> last week I misspoke, I thought I had one luck left as I used it, but I got it backwards, so I have one luck left this week in case I want to use it. I was okay. reading, I was Go reading back my and look at the song. video tape. You can. Well, Let's no, I mean, check. I said the wrong thing. Uh, but anyway, I want to use my first action to shove that archer backward off the roof. To shove them? Yeah, shove them off. All right, let's go ahead and do a shove action. By myself, how this one works. All right, so for sure, I need you to go ahead and strength. Make an athletics check. Athletics check. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna trigger the lock right now. All right. <gasps> it helped it. Yeah. Uh, that gets it to twenty. To twenty. That sounds. Uh, that's gonna be a twelve. Yay! Okay. So you shove it five feet. Very polite clap. <laughs> this way? Yeah, off. Off? Right, All right, right. so shh, it's gonna go ahead and make uh, it. Oh, no, towards you, Matt, is towards my intention, yeah. All right, this uh... way. You shove. They do make an acrobatics check, but they do land off the side here. Um, so they take eight points of damage being pushed off the side. All righty. This board is incredible. So, that person's now falling out of sight, just uh, off the side. Now, question: Am I able to use my bonus action to hide behind that chimney from Kevdak's view, and the archers are? are uh, am I able to do that? Just uh, for yeah, the, the, the chimney would offer you enough, and you have a tree between the two of you anyway. Okay, so I hide behind the chimney. Make a dexterity. Make a, make a stealth check. Stealth check. Uh, that's uh, z- 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 twenty-five. Okay. And I would like to use my last action to throw at Kevdak, so I should still have advantage because he's held, and I yeah. should have uh, if I'm. If I'm hiding, it's a sneak attack, isn't it? Well, sneak attack if it's an, if, if it's an attack oh, with advantage anyway. Oh, my friend's still next to him. Yeah, and oh, then, then, excuse me, I would like to throw two daggers. <laughs> well, the shove was your action. Right, and I haven't, I did the boots, so I have action, action, bonus action. Uh, okay, hold on, let me see if it's, you don't have two actions, you have two attacks. Yeah. Two attacks. Uh, let me double check and oh, okay. see if it is. Okay. There, there is the attack. distinction there. Okay. Uh, Lots of rules today. Attack. Lots of rules. I know. Well, yeah. this, this is every, what every millimeter yeah. counts tonight. Yeah. yeah, this attack replaces one of them. If you right. have multiple attacks with Thank the you. with the attack action, which you don't, so you have the you have your offhand bonus and the haste one. So you do have two, two. attacks yeah. right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. okay. So uh, first one is an eighteen to hit Kevdak. Okay. Second one is uh, twenty five to hit Kevdak. Both hit. Both hit. Okay. <gasps> so the first one is one, is two. Two plus. That rogue damage. That rogue damage. I'm missing. I'll take that. I die. That rogue damage. So is it 8, 12, 13, 19, 22, 28, 30? 30. 30. For the first. 30. 36. 36. Have that to. It's not a crit, though. Uh, oh, no. Uh, that brings it to 36. 18. Wait, wait is, it, is it a crit? It's not a crit. No, but it's half damage for him. Because right, I'd have to be right up against him oh, yeah. to crit. So 36, and then the second dagger does uh, eight half to hold. Okay. Four damage, gotcha. Total 22 points oh, oh, oh. of damage on him. Oh, it's taking all these hits. All right. And I have a little bit of movement, right? Uh, you do have a little bit of movement. because you just go whoop, right up against the flat side, uh, right below Keyleth, uh, pressed against the wall there. Looking right. up her windskirts. <laughs> no. I've got kind of a Marilyn Monroe thing going on in my arrow. There you like, go. Oh, so we're now hitting up against are. against that roof right below there, and your stealth check was twenty five earlier. So we'll go with that. All right, one. maybe maybe a quick look. Maybe a quick look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move this forward a little bit for the people that are watching, so they can get a better view here. There we go. All right. So you're over here, oh, right yeah. there, Liam. Yes. All right. Love so. It. That brings us to. Uh, oh, shit! Never mind. Six more attacks. No, 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 no. You're done. He no, turns no, over. No, no. Never mind. I didn't it. say it. I didn't say it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, all right. So this archer here is going to turn, looking over at the. Let's see. He's currently handled. He's okay right there. Um, this archer saw you firing. Oh yeah. Over in the hide is gonna go ahead and turn. I'm, I'm looking at him right now, actually. I've yeah. got my I've got my I've got my gun in my left hand. Archer's gonna take him. two shots, pulling and his longbow two arrows at you, Percy. 
I smile the whole time. Bring staring it. Staring at him with that dead in the eyes, pussy look. Yeah. Do not uh, fuck with Reed Richards. <laughs> he will fuck you up. <laughs> that is a, a twenty to hit on the first one. Uh, that hits. And a twenty-five on the second. Yeah. That uh, God, that so uh, also hits. All right. Everybody's rolling high today. Want to talk to you? That's First one us. is. Yeah. They uh, one next to you, me hitting you? Uh, no, the one. Do they all have 11 like points of piercing damage to you? Um, 11 for the first one? Yep. I take it in the shoulder. All right. <laughs> uh, second one is going to go ahead and do 13 points of piercing damage. That one I'm going to catch. Okay. Go ahead and roll for it. Gloves of Missile Snare. That's uh, uh, eight, nine, ten, 11, that's 14. So it does. Not only does it do no, do no damage, I actually I take it and catch. Yep, you catch the arrow in front of your face. Snap Six. it. Yes. And go, oh. <laughs> That's amazing. And the gun is going to turn to look at him. Okay. Thank you. Nice person. Eleven points. I think you see from the distance that the the the, the 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 visage of this this half orc looks back as you do that and goes. <laughs> and goes like shakily hand reaching back for another arrow. Archer um, uses his bonus action to piss his legs. This archer is going to go ahead and. Uh, Leap down onto Bro. here. Do I get it? Uh, you do get an attack of opportunity yeah. on it. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. knocks down a tree in the process. It's so terrible. That's like a what? Attack. Dick! That's uh, a natural 18, so we're pretty sure that hits. So 26. Also rolled 19, uh, natural 19 on the acrobatics check, so lands fine, but you do manage to do one attack worth of damage to him as it jumps down. Uh, Airsoft shot to the nuts. I rolled double ones. Um, oh, pathetic. Plus, plus wow, five, really? so seven. That's not that's bad. Still that's still something. Seven damage. That's good. That's good. It's something to remember you by. Maybe he only has like seven ten damage. points. Cool. So you, yeah, yeah, that's woof, your elemental good. form swings wide, and manages to slam the bottom of them as they leap down, sending them into a kind of a spin. But they do manage to catch themselves because they're quite acrobatic. Um, doing so, they step up to the very edge here to their friend who is currently on the ground, who uh, is also going to get up there, and they're both going to look at each other, pull their arrows out, oh. and they're going ahead and make a series of strikes. Um, Let's see. Uh, this one here is going to go ahead. And it's going to shoot at Pike because Pike's on the ground, and this one's going to go ahead and strike at Grog because I can't see Percy over there through the tree. So at Grog. Um, uh, Natural one. Natural one. That's a nineteen. <laughs> misses. Misses you. One arrow just just hits the bit of your shoulder armor right here. And just shatters off the bone. The second one, however, is a twenty-six. Yes. It is. All right. So from that one, you take uh, that cock. Uh, really uh, say nine points of piercing damage, so. reduced to four. Four. Um, the one that's taking two strikes at you, Pike, as you're on the ground now. It's also probably very hard for him to shoot through the people that are attacking me because she's so little. There is one individual attacking you that is on the other side of your body, so okay. you're pretty visible from that point in time. <laughs> no one quarter right. cover. One quarter cover. One quarter. Cover. And one quarter. One sixteenth cover. She's yeah. really little. Her ankles are. You can uh, this thing count. <laughs> however, the attack because you are prone, it is disadvantage on the attack rolls with you because it's not within five feet of you. But it's going to go ahead and attempt to make it. Uh, actual set. Two seventeens in a row. Plus ten. It's twenty. Uh, plus sorry, 10. not plus ten. Plus eight on them for the archers. Yeah, plus eight. So that's uh twenty five. Yeah. And natural one on the other disadvantage. No, that misses. Really well. um, so so plus 10, plus you take three, thirteen eight. points of piercing damage from one of the arrows. Right. So send you there. Uh, they finish their turn. Call emergency if things get dark. Uh, this one. This one is going to after being pushed shoved off. Up. Come around here. Uh, Who's that? Oh, that's the, the one, one you pushed off the other side. Oh, shit. Uh, it's going to come okay, over this way and just hide oh, off to the hiding? side. It's just hiding. Uh, trying to watch what's happening. Mm -hmm. That finishes the archer's turn. Kevdak. Come on, able to do anything, it's going to make a saving throw. And uh, that is going to be a total of uh, 18. What's your DC? 20. Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I will make out with that fucking shirt, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 I mean, my spell DC is 18, but with the hand cone, it's 20. Hand cone, okay. yeah. <laughs> Don't talk him out of it. Just making sure. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, that ends Kevdak's turn. Scanlon, you're up. Okay. Scanlon! Uh, I, I, while maintaining concentration, I can still use the wand to do things. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, so I'll use three charges of the Wand of Fireballs. What are you doing now? Uh, I'm aiming a fireball yes. right around there. I'm so going to see moving up to here. Oh, yes. I guess I have to move forward to attack. Be so All right. Good. Can I get a, a radius that includes Kevdak and these guys over yeah, here? Yeah, you can do that. Okay, going. but not Pike. All of them. And uh, hopefully not Grog, if my aim is true. Yeah, if you get it right there, you can manage you to hit all of them but Grog right there. Okay. Go it'll Scarlet! Hit, it'll hit one, two, yeah, three, Scanlan, four, five, six. Okay, three, three charges is 10d6. All right, so go ahead and roll that. Kevdak automatically fails, because he's paralyzed. Yeah. MVP. Oh, no. So does Greenbeard. <laughs> 34. All right, so 34 reduced to half because he's raging. Yep. Uh, that brings it to six, no, 17. Uh, all right, and then Greenbeard takes 34. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, the other one's there. Uh, they do not get advantages because they're all just fighters. So that's failure. Uh, failure. Well, what's the spell DC on the wand? Because it's different from yours. DC 15, I wrote it down. Okay, DC so 15. that's a success. That's good, that's good. Uh, success. Um, so two of them over there to take. All right, 17. We're gonna be fine, we're gonna be fine, things are working. All righty, got it. Great, so <laughs> giant burst of flame hits. It actually sets fire to this entire structure, and yes. now there's the wooden barricade itself is in flames. We'll say for the purposes of considering that. There's flaming the spikes on the field. Oh, yes. What? Amazing. Flaming spikes. All right, so there we go. There I was really hoping you were going to come out with like a like a like fire a, right there. Oh wow, that's actually yeah. No, never mind. I'm not disappointed at all. So those are on fire. <laughs> I thought you were gonna come out with like a fire. Play play or something. That, that no, that yeah, works. no. Yep, that works. I thought you were going for a ring. That was All right. Oh. So I'm gonna try to do the pike move and jump down one. Down there. One level. All right. Make an acrobatics check. Oh Jesus. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fourteen. Yeah. Nineteen. Nineteen. <laughs> you leap down and make it right there. Okay. And uh, I will. Try, I will with the bonus. I'll heal Grog. With a he healing word. Healing word, okay. I mean. Right. Eh. I mean, no, 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 no. No, no. no. What's, no. what's the range on it? No, sorry. Uh, 60 oh. feet. 60 feet for healing word, I believe, right? He's just out of your range. Okay, well then I will heal Pike. Is that okay? You can do that. You can shout over the side. You have to get into view of her, which means you have to move a little bit closer to the edge, but yeah. Okay, I'll do that. And I'll Cut. look. So you get about, about there. Glance off the side. All right, go for it. Uh, 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 I'll I'll just peek over the side and say, never gonna fuck you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and not heal you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go ahead and roll your heal for Pike. Okay. Oh yeah, Rob, yeah, seven points. Seven points. Seven points of healing. Hey, it all helps. All right, and with that, Grog, you're up. Oh my God. <clears throat> on, Grog. Natural crit. So. In my frenzied, reckless attacking, great weapon master, can I bring my axe up high and swing it for the first attack to his left side where dangly hand is? Uh, you can, go for it. So your you're re regular straight attack. Reg reckless uh, well, attack. you have advantage, and then it's disadvantage for that, so it brings it to a regular attack. Um, minus it's five. Disadvantage for the. Uh, because of the cult shot. Oh, okay. But then advantage because it's reckless? Uh, 23. Don't matter. Don't matter. 23 hits. With the minus five? No. <gasps> 18. Still hits. <laughs> oh! Oh, hassle. Yes. Oh, God. So it's d12. 11 plus 3 plus 7. Uh, 20 for the first one. Uh, 30 with Great Weapon Master. But you double your dice because it's a natural crit because he's. Remember, this is with your axe, axe, right? Yeah. So with the axe, it's just a d12 uh, plus your plus 11, your rage bonus, which plus is, your strength, which is seven or eight. The rage bonus is eight. Well, the rage bonus sh it should be plus. With total, it becomes plus. Oh, sorry, the total. Yeah, the total bonus is is eight. It's three plus four, isn't it? Right now, is so it? So it should be seven. That's why that says seven. 
That's a thing. Yeah, right. so you're not using Warhammer. You're not attuned to this weapon. That's right. Okay, so, right. so what'd you roll on the dice? 11. 11. Uh, technically, it's a critical hit. So 22? So, I mean, it's a critical hit, so you do your brutal critical. You roll <gasps> brutal critical. two more d12s. <gasps> so, so it was an 11 times 2, it's 22. Plus, plus 7, two. that's uh, 29, plus 2d12. Oof. 5. So that's 34. Four. 34. And a 9, so that's... 43. 43. 43. 43 reduced in half, that's 21 points of slashing damage to him. Nice. But that's the first know. one called shot. Um, with that, thunk, the blade finds its way into his side as you hear cracking on the rock below him the sound of the left gauntlet <laughs> hitting the bottom of the square. Uh, the fingers kind of twitch in the gauntlet as he's currently standing there with his left arm bisected from no. the rest of his body. Move. Huh. Does you he just... shriek? <laughs> Damn it. You just no. got teary <laughs> uh, The second attack straight across his back. Okay, just straight into his back? Yeah. Okay. Does another oh, smaller dear. doll hand come out to replace it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, tiny, tiny. Uh, that is a uh, uh, 22. 22 oh, hits? Yeah, 22. Okay. And uh, that's a four, so doubled. You rolled a. Oh. The 12, right? Okay, so yeah. four times two is eight, plus right. four. Mm -hmm. 11. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Math is a bitch. Yeah. Plus four is 12. And two more of them because it's yeah, a critical. Plus four is 12. Oh, uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> Seven. 19. Mm -hmm. And a nine. Woo! 28. 28. 28. Have that's 14. Woo! Math! All right. Math is fun. So, you're just hacking into him. You can see like the wounds are just open and his body is shaking from the, the amount of pain that's racking him at this time. Um, he's still holding up against a lot of damage that's come to him. Um, but he's starting to look a little rough. So I have my third frenzied attack or a bonus action, right? With my bonus action, I have one superior healing potion. Okay. Can I take that? You can, yeah. Okay. That will heal you at a superior, uh, let's see. I think this is superior a fair fight. Is so like a one-on-one -on -one Goliath 8 versus 4 plus eight. Fight, right? 8 d4 plus 8, right? 8 d4 plus 8, that's your superior. That's the expensive one you guys got. 8 d4, those those are four sided, the four sided experiment. Four sided deck. <laughs> fuck, fuck me, asshole. Nine, <laughs> seven, nine, 11, 12, Jesus, 14, 16. So much caffeine and sugar after this. I'm already there. 19, 20. 20. All right, so you heal 20. All right, that ends your turn, Grog. That ends it. All righty, unless you want to move. Can I, <laughs> can I, huh? Pick up the gun? I can't pick it up. I can right. only move. It's got a hand in it. You can, it's complicated. Can you pick it up? I mean, you have, you won't be able to wield your axe. You couldn't <laughs> you put can it in the bag of holding? Next turn, if you wanted to try it. No, no, I'm gonna, can I move, uh, if I stay within his flank, they, if I move away from the three guys that are surrounding me. You're all gonna get an attack on you. I'll stay right Yeah, there's a okay. hand in it. Nobody can use it. All right. All right, so that finishes your turn, Grog. Right. Yes, thank you. Next up is Greenbeard, who's currently frozen in place. <laughs> However, rolls uh, an 18 plus five. Uh, sorry, so his wisdom is plus 10, so that puts him in 28. So he resists oh, the whole person oh, and is currently shit. no longer affected by that. It's okay. All right, that finishes his turn, though, because that's the end of his turn. Oh. Percy, you're up. Okay. Percy. All right, this is going to be kind of fun. Um, that asshole who just shot me, I'm now aiming at him. Okay. Um, and I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna just push him off the roof. This will be fun. Uh, so, pushing him off the roof, am I going to do extra damage to him or am I gonna, yeah. If he hits. Hmm? If he hits the ground. Well, I mean, like, I'm debating whether or not to sharpshooter it too. No, I think I'll just push him off the roof. It's funnier. Uh, I can feel my heart beat in my face. I know. <laughs> I can't tell if it's actually really warm in here if we're all just, like, really hot. Probably a little bit of calm, maybe a little bit of calm. Was 28, it? 28 to hit. 28 hits. Um, that's non sharpshooter. Uh, non sharpshooter. Okay. Double um, shooter. But I'm doing a I'm doing a torso <laughs> shot. So we get to. So uh, he gets no save. There's no save for the torso shot. Right. Um, it's just going to take his damage and move 10 feet away from me. Okay. So uh, go for it. That's uh, 14 points of damage of piercing damage. 14 points of piercing damage, and he gets shoved off the back of the roof. He's going to make an acrobatics check, which he succeeds. <laughs> so he lands down there. He only takes. Uh, one players. point of damage from the fall, but there you go. That's fine. Um, I'm going to reload, and now what am I going to do? 
Um, Let's jump down the chimney, deliver presents. <laughs> um, <laughs> surveying the field, and just trying to make some decisions. Uh, um, Help Pike. I can't. Well, uh, can I hit Greenbeard? I can hit Greenbeard. I'm gonna yeah, hit Greenbeard. Hit Greenbeard. Uh, he's he's, he's got the magicy creep, creepy yeah, things, right? Yeah, oh, there's magic. A couple magic. Um, he's got mold like, on like his chest. Fungal head moss up. on his whole like neck and chest Ooh. area. Ugh. All right. Well, we'll see how things go. Let's uh. Let's just do a sharpshooter shot at him right now okay. and see what a little bit of damage does to him. So sharpshooter with retort, don't miss. And my and my pistol goes Twang! <laughs> oh. All right. Um, and I'm putting it away, so. Okay. All right, so that's going to end your turn. Yep. Keyleth, you're up. Um, all right. Tornado's coming down the house. I'm going to hit these two guys with a whirlwind again. Right here? <laughs> yep. All righty. 13 strength save. 13 strength saves on both of them. Archers, all right. Uh, it's a natural 19 plus two, and uh, two natural 19s in a row. Yeah, they both make the saves. Oh, God. So, uh, nine plus two, uh, oh, one more d8. Uh, plus another five, so that was, 12 plus 5 17. is 17. <laughs> it's another 2, so 19 halved. 19 halved? All right, so that puts him at 9 points of bludgeoning damage each. Bummer. Not really having much of an effect at this point in the fight. However, as you swirl around, picking up the debris from the roof you can, it slams into them and they kind of brace against it, but they still kind of glancing over their shoulder realize that, uh, gotta continue what we're doing now. The bigger threat appears to be out in front of them. Definition. I'm staying in their like, space, by the way. Right, right. So you're like up in there. I'm up in there. Up in their shoe. Your business. Oh, yeah. oh, it fell anyway. It happened. That counts. There you go. No. Nope. That was good. Egg on rolls. Alrighty. Finish your turn? Yeah. Alright, Pike, yeah. you're up. Alright, I'm gonna put on my sprinter's boots. Sprinter's boots? Uh, they're on you, right? What's that? Yeah. So you're yeah, getting up. On. Half your movement to stand up. Yeah. Alright. Okay. And I'm gonna run around towards the back of the house. This way? They're gonna hit you. Which way? Uh, door. What are you doing? <laughs> Ashley, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Ashley? What are you doing? I so your got sprinter's it. boots you activate. Yeah. Which gives you double movement. Right? Magic. So you have 50 go. feet. But you, but you moved up. It took a 25 to stand up because it's half your speed to get up from prone. So you still have 25 feet you can move. Okay, so I'm just going to go around to the side. This side? Yeah. All right, so you move the... here. Yeah, as right? far as it'll. Okay, so you rush over there. Uh, that one guy takes a swing at you as you rush by. Yeah, or girl, I should say, the, the female ha like half off swings with the giant blade. Uh, that's going to be a twenty-three. Fuck yeah. Okay. As the blade smacks you from behind as you rush past, you suffer fourteen points of slashing damage in your back, but you keep running around the edge. All right, what are you doing? All right, I'm gonna heal myself. Alrighty. So I'm a little, doing a little rough here. Um, so I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on myself. Yeah, lose you. Uh, let's see where we're at. Third level. Start thinking. Isn't this exciting? Yes, it is. <laughs> Good times, guys. We're fighting a horde of Goliaths! Alright, brought an extra shirt. What you got, Ashley? What's that? What you got? What you got? Oh, I cast Cure Wounds on myself. And you're done? You healed up? Done, yeah. Alright, it's in your turn. Do, any, do I have a bonus action? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have bonus action still if you want. Oh, okay. You got sp your spiritual weapon still. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, chop, chop. I'm gonna use my spiritual weapon on him again. Okay, so go ahead, and, go ahead and, uh, Swing for the attack on that one. Okay, and I'm gonna use best spiritual sound effects. Guided ever. strike. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, you have advantage. Attack roll. Okay, you have advantage on the attack, by the way, because he's, he's paralyzed. So you're oh, you get advantage. Time. Yeah, roll oh, a second advantage. time. He's still paralyzed. He's frozen. And that's all you got. Oh, that's good. He's still under. Okay. Plus, so you have any kind of don't you add anything to it's it? Add, add your spell attack. Oh, yeah, DC, well, then I'm DC. great. Oh, fuck, I'm forgetting everything. I'm so nervous. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. okay. You've been okay. away for a while. It's been a rough week. Yeah, we're good to go. Right. What's the 22. Total? 22, that hits. Okay. So go ahead and roll your uh, 3d8, I think it is. Oh, 4d8. 
Four D eight. Plus your wisdom modifier, which is plus. Yeah. What's your wisdom modifier? She's doing math. math. Sorry, Give her I'll, a second. I'll, I'll play. <laughs> Dice are doubled too. Uh, it is. The weapon's within five feet. Yeah. Thank you. Plus. <laughs> no. Do you add the spell attack bonus? <laughs> Suck it, nerd. <laughs> Dark guy. Not spell attack. No, your wisdom modifier. But oh. but what's the dice? So the dice are doubled because it's 18. a critical. Eighteen times two. <laughs> Thirty-six. Woo. Thirty-six. Half that to eighteen. Woo. Then add your wisdom modifier. <clears throat> Plus four. Plus four. All right. So. Eight. So half that be two. So twenty. Twenty points nice. of 20 points. damage to him Yay. from the strike of that. Whew. <laughs> Alrighty, that finishes your turn. Does your piece of paper back there look like Stephen Hawking's chalkboard? Kinda right now, yeah. <laughs> wow. That whole row is the damage you dealt. Like. Young, yeah. like yeah. Young Stephen Hawking. Like probably really clean. Young Stephen Hawking. Okay. All right. That's so a, you horrible, horrible first, person. <laughs> okay. This, the, the woman who just swung past you. <laughs> go ahead and. Uh, let's see. Oh, you rushed around the corner. It's going to go ahead and rush around the corner as well to follow you since you got out of the way. Rush into and go after you, Pike. The three that are on you, Grog, are still, after watching you cut one of Kevdak's arms off, just roar angrily around you, all three of them, and just go into another round of uh, angry, angry strikes against you. Oh, okay. God. All right, so that comes to you, Grog, since you did reckless attack on him for the stuff. They all have advantage on you anyway. So all the attacks are with advantage. Six attacks. Six attacks. Uh, it's natural 20. Oh. Uh, 26 on the second. Uh, 23 on the third. Uh, 24 on the fourth. Can you roll poorly? Uh, 26 on the fifth. Welcome to our production and, of Julius yeah, all, Caesar. Five hits and one crit. <laughs> what? Whoa. They all hit, yeah. Too brute. Reckless attack puts you in a bad position when you're surrounded with guys that can do multiple hits that are also barbarians. I don't like it. Here it comes. So, uh. Got that barbarian's we'll resistance. Do, we'll do the crit first on you. Okay. Oh, no, you already used the stone resistance. No, no, no. Oh, the, the barbarians, the, yeah. The so that'll, that'll help. Fuck. That'll help. Don't say the word yet. Well. All right, so. The thing where you die. Uh, seven plus eight, 15 reduced to half, that's seven. So I'll, 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 just give you the, I'll give you the direct amounts here. All right. So this is with the reduction. So seven points of slashing damage. Yeah, right? Crit. Uh, yes. yeah. Another seven. Okay. Uh, another seven. Okay. There we go. Uh, that's a nine. Okay. Jesus. Uh, not that great. Crit. It's a six. Okay. And then now the crit. Oh, oh, the crit. Of course, that's the double sixes. I thought you, uh, the first one was crit. You said I'll no. do the crit first. I, 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 you did. You, you did you say that. that. And then I thought differently, but I didn't say it out loud. But oh, because okay. you're calling me on it, I'll no, let it happen. No, 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 Two attacks on you. You still alive there? Wait, uh, why? Oh, because she's. Yeah, that's, that's a natural 20. Oh. And a 15. Nope. Nope. So that is uh, <laughs> only a one and a two. So that's three, six plus eight. You take 14 points of slashing damage from this 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 barbarian female. It's just all upon your grill. I hate this bitch! And in that turn, it's now the druid's turn over here. Druid. Oh. Surprise yep. round. Yep. The druid's going to rush forward here. No, she's gonna and heal. do a level, uh, no. fifth level cure wounds no. on fifth. Kevdak. No. I mean, he doesn't have an arm. He doesn't have the arm. That was he. he, that, he can't down. get that back. He can't get the bonus. Can't get the, the stuff. I hope. I know. How does that work? If you only have. No, I don't know. Ask that guy. I imagine you'd have to have right. both. So right? we're looking at five d eight. You know, it's like a friendship bucket. You know what? You know, it Fuck it. Work. I'll counterspell that. Uh, it's like, oh. yeah, too high. Well, no, no. It's, okay, so it's at a fifth level. Uh, go ahead and roll for it, adding. So it's d20 plus five I plus can't. two because of your um, uh, your, bardic, your bardic knowledge. d20 plus seven. It's not concentration, right? Counter no. spell? Okay. <laughs> so what do I do? <laughs> Just a d20? Roll d20, add, add seven. That would be fucking awful. 
17. Uh, let me check real fast. What's the spell's level? Yeah, it's dispelled. It's Counter dispelled? Counter yes, Counter you oh! 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 Did you see it? Did you see it? It was 15. Oh, was ah! MVP oh my god, Sam. MVP. Oh my god. Yeah, Sam's going so to Disney angry World. about that. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. That ends his turn now. So, uh, this guy here. Let's see. I'm gonna stand up for this one. Pardon oh, me. Oh shoot. Just take a break or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, oh god, if they, they mm. hit her and she's. The benches like, we're sitting on are yeah. just covered in so much ass sweat right now. Yeah. Yeah. Save for the sake of this. It's just for yeah, doing up there. Yeah, yeah, mm. there. Get up. Just, yeah, it's Who died? Who's up there? What's yeah, going on up there? Might, this might guy run jumps up be, this uh, way. This, might, this is bad. Hey, wait, where, but are where I am. Like, I don't yeah. want him to come up there. Too bad. Does he have an attack of opportunity? These two guys rush forward and grab. These. Uh, oh my this god. Here. This is where it all turns. We're gonna end the problem. Because I fucking fell off the fucking roof. Yeah, it's your fault. It's back my fault. into the middle here, towards the fire. Head of the snake. Into the fire? Wait, what? Pushing them towards the fire with what remains of their movement. Um, let's see. These guys are moving. Frog there. Uh, this archer is going to back up. Pardon me. Was that allowed? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, archers okay, aren't, aren't part of this movement. No! Um, this guy here is going to move into Grav there. Oh, good, uh, now he has seven people attacking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, hmm. These guys here, seeing... Huh. Here, uh, shh. this guy can't really get over there, so he's gonna go ahead and rush forward. No. I'm How many people are there? I feel like there's so many more people than there were. How do you own this many models? Why are you doing this to Pike? Yet. Stop hurting uh, her. Only you can protect her. <laughs> we should have killed the guys first. That's what nope. There's no shoulda. This yeah. is what we got. No. This is what we did. This is what, right, we, this got. what we got. It's okay, guys. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. It was going pretty well. Try to get into melee with you. Why did it all How did turn? they fucking scale that? How do they scale the? Because he can roll so acrobatics just like we can. Yeah, you guys can do it. They can do it too. Yeah. Um, and they're pretty strong. So he basically just runs up, puts the sword in his back, <clears throat> jumps up onto the roof, <clears throat> pulls the weapon. He doesn't manage to get an attack on you because it took all of his movement That's to get up there. But he gets up there. No one wants um, to fuck with the elemental. Want to no get scaling? Could. No one. Um, right now, you're not a huge threat to them at the moment, and uh, they're uh, both going to focus actually on you, Scanlan, for sure. this guy. When no he gets around to their turn, though. Um, this guy's oh, gonna go ahead and pull both the arch, of these sir. innocent folk in front of them as a shield. This guy's gonna get freaked out and then just rush uh, around the building and try to escape there. Um, okay, so, bringing us into the combat portion of the round. Uh, Grog, you have two more attacking you. This is the Blade Storms. Uh, Blade Storms. With advantage, that's uh, only gonna be a 14. That'll miss. I, I haven't said that much tonight. No, uh, 18. That misses. So first one, oh. to both attacks just swinging across you. You're feeling it on your back, but it's catching most of your armor and part of, part of your flesh that is nice and callous and just not really doing any damage. The second one rolls a 20. Uh, second one, and the uh, second attack on the second one is a 21. Uh, uh, that hits, yeah. Yeah, okay. So you get a critical and a hit on this one. So this is a blade storm. Uh, Critical, it's going to be 6, 12, uh, 16, 8 points of slashing damage from that one. Okay. And the next one's going to be uh, 4 points of slashing damage. This is already halved, just so you know. Okay. So that's those, that round there. Against the Pike, only one of them uh, could get to you and still attack this round. So, Pike, that's uh, 19. What am I going to do? Misses! Oh. And that's going to be a 15. 
Oh. So the one strikes against you, hits the back of the armor, and just streaks off. So you spin around as the second blade comes around, and you just deflect it with the shield angrily. Yes, this is so fucking stressful. <laughs> that brings us back to the top of the initiative order. Vex, you're up. Oh, okay. Wait, they just approached me. They didn't you're pretty. You're low. You're low. Oh, there was the one guy that got up there with movement. Thank you, okay. reminder. So before that oh, happens, actually. God. The reminder, this one did have enough movement to get up there and still get attacks off on the Okay, he's attacking Percy. No, he's attacking me. Um, oh. Uh, that's going to be a 13 with the first strike. That misses. Misses. The last, second one's going to be a 22. Uh, that just hits. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? Right, that's going to be... It's going to be uh, 17 points of slashing damage okay. on that great sword. Whoosh. Uh, I need you to go ahead and make a concentration check. Oh, yes. Oh, no! Oh, no. Wait, what? Come on, Scanlan. Yeah, Come you on, have Scanlan. Warcaster, so you have Come advantage on, Scanlan. on that. 15 plus anything? Uh, it's, a, it's a constitution. Constitution plus whatever constitution bonus you have. Oh, plus two, 17. So 17. Good, That's right? pretty good. Uh, you have to be like over double check 12, here real fast. Right? Sure. Okay. Use 10 and a half the damage you take. So you, heart. Yeah, My that heart. would be 10. Yeah, so you maintain concentration. Oh, back. thank God. We might as well just be focus. doing this on a treadmill because oh I God, think I'm pretty heart close to like 1.30. All right, Vex, you're up. Okay. Get him, girl. Get I'm going to fly out of the window on the broom. Okay. Hey. So. <laughs> the roof blows off. <laughs> you can out of the window. Out of the room. Fly. Um, fly. Where do you want to go? I'm going to fly down and I'm going to shout Grog! Raise your arm! And I'm going to. Go down and I'm gonna hit his hand with the Pokeball. <gasps> We're doing this. Gonna scoot by here. <sighs> doing this. Yeah. We have okay. Is it like a four? I'm above. I want to be high up in the air, but just okay. low enough that I can reach down and okay, that's touch the locket to to Grog's hand. Okay, it's a good thing race. Kevdak is paralyzed. Yeah, otherwise he'd be I know. Able to take I know. Back on you. This will put you in range for their strikes, so you're gonna have to stay in place or move past and suffer five attacks of opportunity. They, wait, all of them can attack, but I'm in the air. For you to get right low there, enough bro. to hand them that, they all have like big double great swords, and they're half of them are half giants. So you can do this as you swish up, which you've already said you're going to do. You fly up and you reach down with the locket, and I with, hit with the locket. You hand over to him. Do I don't go? hand it to him. Okay, it's you just hold it there. I'm it. putting Grog in the fucking locket. Oh, <laughs> she's trying to medevac me. Yeah, I misunderstood what you were trying to do. All right, so. I what, just want to fly by and poof. And what's keep, it say again? I, it's a wisdom save, but if it's a willing person, they can go in. Yeah. So, Grog, are you willing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And with that, as you reach down and touch Grog with it, uh, you see Grog's form shimmer for a second into dark shadow and then vanish inside. And I just want to fly oh, on God. past and go up to the next roof. Okay, so Grog is currently off the table as he's locked inside the gauntlet. Uh, where I go? Where should I go? Where are you going? Because as you, as you rush away, you do get. I'm gonna fly back. I'm gonna fly back into the. Into I'm gonna the... fly around the back of the big building. Back here, you mean? Yeah. Okay. We'll say, for the purposes of this, you are back here. Okay. Bash all right. However, as you fly you. off from doing this, all of them swing wide at you. It's five attacks of opportunity against you. Um, that's uh, 20. Hits. Uh, that is 17. It did? Yeah. You get, what'd you give me? Yeah, she, gave, she handed out before Oh, that's right, out. she gave me a, a blessing. Eight. Well, it, it's, it's eight, you have 15 extra hit points. That's what it is. Oh, okay, I thought it was the, the armor class goes up one. I got 15 extra hit points. Yeah, eight, eight, eight is, gives you guys more extra hit points. So anyway, oh. 17? Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. All right, so three more attacks. That was a cock. Uh, 19? It's my armor class. All right, 26. Fuck, balls, shit. And 19 again. So four attacks hit you. Okay. First one is for 14 points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, next one, ooh, that's, uh, yeah. that's eight. Uh, 12 points of slashing damage. Okay. Double? Uh, <laughs> Stop <No>. it! <laughs> yeah. Don't be helpful. Nine for uh, another thirteen points of slashing damage. Damn it! And okay. the last one, uh, it's going to be fifteen points of slashing damage. Great, cool, great. 
still alive. I just am fine, and I'm just going to keep going. You streak <laughs> off as all these blades just hammer into your side, cutting the bottom of your feet. Okay. Uh, one of them hits you in the back of the neck and curves across your lower back. And as you pull away, clutching <gasps> it, you look at your hand with the blood pooling in the middle of your palm. And the, you look at the gem with just a faint glimmer of what looks like a form of a human inside the gem that's currently mingling with all the blood that's just smeared across your body as all of a sudden you coast around through the air, shh, the wind whirling past you, and you spin around towards the top of the Margrave's uh, estate, and you can just hear the blood in your body oof, oof, in your ears as you start getting a little dizzy and realizing just how rough you are at the moment from okay. that exchange. Wow. I'm going to add it all up and find out. Technically, you'd probably be higher than this. Uh, Good boy. Yeah. I already have my move. You're up there if you wanted to fly around. Okay. So, that ends your turn? That, yeah. Vax, you're up. I'm going to use my bonus action to dash, and hasted I get 24 squares of movement on this board. Yes. I'm going to drop off the roof, staying along the wall. I should be able to take a diagonal at that corner and totally avoid Greenbeard. I mean, Jarja off. I want to go, no, I want to go straight oh, yeah. this way. This way. Towards the tree and drop. Pointer. Okay, Where's towards the tree. Yeah. Drop right. off here. Yeah. I want to go along the wall. I can okay, I swoop around it and avoid Greenbeard. I'm going to run past this barbarian. She'll probably take an attack, but I'm wearing that cloak, so she's at disadvantage. Yep. I'm going to run up to Kevdak and I'm going to stab him twice. He should get, I should get sneak attack damage and a crit because he's frozen. You do. Then I'm gonna run the fuck out. That's what I'd like to do. Okay. Uh, you rush up. Uh, you managed to avoid Greenbeard. There is one of these guys there that was yep. kind of just holding his place, kind of seeing what things were going on. He had no target at the moment, which is kind of staying nearby. Disadvantage. Uh, with disadvantage, uh, that is uh, 21. Misses. Misses. Oh, two. Daggers 22. out, hasted. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> Raven Queen armor. Ah, oh, fuck y'all. As you <laughs> dart past this blur of dark motion, Swings towards you, and where it catches, is about to catch some of the armor. There's a, a burst of black feathers that just kind of lift behind oh, where the blade struck dope. through. As you dart up right into the face of Kevdak, who's like <coughs> trying to desperately resist the effect. Shunk, of shunk. Go for it. Okay. Advantage, Advantage on the attacks. These. Right, 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 yep. right. Oh my god. Ermagerd. Ermagerd. 22 for the first, which hits. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. They both hit. And 26 for the second. Both hit. Both crit. First one. Uh, three plus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Three <laughs> plus. Uh, eight, <laughs> 10, 16, 22, 23, 29, 32, which 22. is doubled uh, to 64 plus six. Well, 32 plus six because he takes half damage. Wait, right, he... right. Well, let's get it up to the top and then have it. Yeah. So 32 to 64 uh, plus uh, six is 72 halved. Right, 72 halved puts you at 36. 36. That's the first, and then the second Ooh. one does two uh, plus Ooh. six is eight. Uh, two, uh, two and. That's just the dice is doubled, so four yeah. is 10. All right. And I'd like to use the rest. Uh, well, go ahead. So, yeah. So as you rush up, you slam your dagger square into the side of his body. And as you push it inside, you can see his eye glancing back down towards you, held in place, his arm broken, still dangling from the, the little elements of ligaments that keep it kind of shifting there. Uh, with the impact of the slam, it swings just from the sheer force of the blow. As you push the blade to the hilt and even further in, you feel your hands actually push into the wound itself about an inch, your fingers getting uh, dark and wet with this, the, the crimson gore of the interior of his body. As you push up inside, you pull back, uh, pulling the blade into the, turning around in your pommel, and jam it over the top of the shoulder into the side of, its, uh, the side of his body. The muscle flexes just from the tension of the hold person spell, managing to reduce a portion of the damage, but it left a pretty serious wound. Any movement I have left, I want to use to run up to the other side of the wall that Keyleth is on. If I have enough, I'll climb up. If not, I'll go behind the barrel. Uh, but if I, uh, before I go, quietly, I say to Kevdak, your fate is sealed here today, my friend. Okay. He does not get an attack opportunity on you because he's paralyzed and the guy already took one against you, so he already used his reaction. You rush past him. You do not have enough movement to get to the top, but you get to the corner right where the, yeah. where the barrel is. Okay? Yeah. That ends your turn. It's now the archer's turn. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Alrighty. So much bloodshed. Um, so, 
we do some recreational drugs or something? We're going to take the edge We're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> all we got to do is get Kevin back to work. I have like a Scrooge McStuck dial pick of Xanax at my house, and, and I'm just going to dive into it. <laughs> Scrooge McDuck sized. Once we kill him, his gauntlets are just, just going to be there. We have to go in and get his gauntlets. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a point. That's a point made. <laughs> okay. You know who can get him. You know who can right. get him who's fast and strong. Uh, this guy here is going to go ahead and move out of, out of range of you, Marisha. Putting this barrel off the side to try and get away from you. Attack of opportunity. Uh, which means, Marisha, you get attack of opportunity. It does fall and hit the barrel next to you. It does, I mean, next to Vax. It doesn't hit you. Yeah. But it kind of spooks you momentarily as it slams onto the barrel next to your side and rolls off. Oh. So what'd you get, Caleb? Uh, uh, 10 total. 10 total? Uh, misses? Um, oh, no. Oh, I had to roll the hit. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was rolling just damage. What'd you roll? I didn't roll the hit. Uh, to hit, that is plus uh, 16 to hit. 16 versus the archer. 17. <gasps> just missed. Oh, you really blew it. Oh, oh well, not it. Well, well, not it. No, to be fair, she's, she's, she's a player. You were really cool. Before. Oh, she's winded. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> they're both uh, having now made out the connection between the the mooning and the Kevdak, Kevdak holding himself in place. They're both trying to take you out. Uh, one of them has disadvantage because you're in its spot and it couldn't get away from you. You had nowhere to go, really. So one's taking two attacks at you, Scanlan. Uh, that is going to be <laughs> a 12. Miss. Uh, and a 26. Hit. Uh, the other one's going to have two attacks with disadvantage against you. That's even with disadvantage, that's a 21. Hit. And the other one with disadvantage is a uh, 15. Hit. What? What? 15? Wait, what? 15 hits you? I am not wearing yeah. some things. It's true. So three attacks that hit you. Yeah. Uh, the first one is going to be. All right. That's a full 10 plus. Four, 14 points of piercing damage. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll uh, your concentration. Oh, yeah, that. So roll and add two. Roll and add two, or? Because it's plus your constitution. Oh, 19. 19, okay. The next attack deals uh, five points. Go ahead and roll again, with advantage. 19. Damn. All right, and the third one. Yeah, what's your constitution saving throw? It's plus two, right? Yep. Last one does 11 points of piercing damage to you. Okay. And make another series of checks for concentration. Seventeen. Fine. Oh, we're, fine. we're okay. We're okay. That that work has to be. I mean, feet, relatively. Man. Oh my god. All right, that finishes those two guys. Okay. Um, this one here is off to the side. This one is going to go ahead and turn around this way, and just get around the edge. Um, actually, he's going to. I'm going to start crying. This one over here oh god, this one didn't notice you swing by over the top. Uh, she's overhead. It does see Percy up on the roof that shot it. You do have uh, partial cover. Um, so we'll say that's a, a it's half cover. So plus two to your AC against this guy's two arrow shots against you. Um, alrighty. That is 26 to hit. Oh, that hits. All right. Second um, strike, same thing, 26. All right. 18 um, and 18. 18 and 18. Uh, so he goes up to. I can use, the, yeah, I only have one reaction. So. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'll, that's uh, nine, points, nine points piercing damage with the first shot. I'll take that. And 14 points piercing damage with the second shot. I'll fight shot. that one. I'll contest that. This has been a long fight, guys. Gonna, Maybe. This no, this is, is like, like 30 seconds later. Maybe, Maybe, Maybe we should just. Uh, just be contesting it with the uh, With uh, uh, missile snare. Walk away. How many times can you use that? So um, the bracers. It's a reaction. Yep. Yeah, no, we um, it doesn't say. It says reduce. Uh, I, can, I can make an attempt to catch. Yeah. So go ahead and make the attempt. Uh, it's uh, 14 points. 14 points. Yeah. Uh, are we still trying to go? That's uh, total dexterity modifier six. So I can reduce it. Uh, I, I, I can reduce the damage to three points of damage. Sure. I'm still got hit. So yeah. So go ahead and mark that. Yep. Okay. And this guy over here at the very top moves over as well and is going to go ahead and take two more shots at Scanlan. Uh, since there's currently not a whole lot he can see in the area that's a threat to him, uh, and you're this gleaming beacon of, of pink and purple up on the <laughs> on the rooftop that another friend of his is currently wailing on. So, uh, two attacks against you. Uh, that's going to be a uh, 19. Hit. 
and 23. All right, you take another six points of piercing damage. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and make your uh, yep, 20. saves. Was it? 20. 20, okay. Mm -hmm. Second one is 14 points of piercing damage. Oh, Jesus. I made mean, that. <gasps> no! Person fades. Oh, God, Concentration oh, loss from the barrage of arrows from the nearby herd archers. It's okay. A He's roar comes across the battlefield. <laughs> Currently, like a one busted people. arm and no arm on the other side. Kev Dak is screaming in, in terrible pain and anger. But he's great at river dance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, archers finish their turn. It comes to Kevdak's turn. No shit! He's going to go ahead and use his uh, bonus action to go ahead and use Second Wind. Fuck. He, shit. Nice, roll a 10. Heal. He, he heals 17 hit points on that, roll the 10. Um, he is then going to... Let's see. Hmm. No one's around him. Yeah, he has no axe. He reaches over and picks up your hammer. With, with his with broken his. hand? Uh, actually, yeah, no, he can Actually, no, he can't do that right now. Yeah. His beak. He, uh. <laughs> he kicks the hammer. He. Yeah. He tells. He teabags it. He kills one of his <laughs> subordinates for letting them. No, he, he turns to his subordinates to the side. It's pretty low says, <laughs> One of you, pick that up. The rest of you, kill them. And looks over to the other two innocent that are on the ground right now. Um, he then is going to go ahead and start. Moving over towards Greenbeard. Because he moves. Yes. Does Pike get an attack of opportunity? opportunity? Oh, the spiritual uh, it's weapon. Not an, a spiritual weapon is technically not a creature. Okay. Um, it doesn't get a reaction. It's only on a bonus action you get a chance to attack with it. So no. Uh, he's going to move over here, <clears throat> around the flames, up to Greenbeard. Okay. That finishes his turn. There's not much else he can do at this point. Uh, Scanlon, you're up. Pike, how you doing? I'm on my, on my twenty. I'm pretty rough. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I have an idea to try to get out of it if I need to. Kev Dak or Pike? They're all they're all clustered right there. If you have something, yeah, they the area, are. I don't care about them. I just they're care gonna about be a, Kev they're gonna be in the fight, Scanlan. Well, Greenbeard can probably heal Kev Dak. All right. It's probably what he's going over there for. End yeah. The I don't think I'll him. be able to do. A fireball without hitting either Kiki or that innocent. I'm fine. She's, she can okay. suck it I out. can she's, suck. I'm, I haven't taken any right. damage. She's up 60 bonus points. No, I'm up 90 bonus she's hit points, tank. and I haven't Don't taken any damage. All right, damage. I'll, I'll do the same thing then. Uh, Plus, I think I'm... Burn it. I don't know do if it. I can do even... Do burn it. Burn, burn it. Burn it. What are you doing, Scanlan? Yep, uh, just the wand of fireballs again. <laughs> how many more? How many? Uh... I have seven charges. I've used three. I'll use yeah, three four. more. All right, three more. Uh, at where? In the center here at Kevdak? Right, set, yes, Kevdak is the center square. <laughs> That's, uh, it would hit that archer. Would uh, it hit that innocent? It would hit those innocent there. Both of those I innocent. Angle it a little over towards Kiki so it doesn't hit the innocent? Uh, yeah, the you could, with your angle, you could angle it this oh, way. Oh, would it hit va va Vax that way? Uh, yeah, it would. Fuck! Sorry, it's do I'll, it. I'll kill the innocent. Do it. No, no, do no. it. I, I kill the innocent. Okay. <laughs> Scanlan! I can dodge that shit. Don't hurt I said it already. Yep. It's too late. Oh, so, no. Scanlan he fires the fireball at Kevdak. It detonates. I could have avoided it completely. I know. Okay, yes. Uh, do I just roll? I just rolled it. Roll, roll a. Uh, 10d8. 10d8, yeah. 10d6. 6, 6, six. yes. Kevdak. Uh, uh, yeah, he makes his save. Um, Fucking wait, which, fucker! No. Green, this is DC 15. Uh, Kev, uh, Greenbeard also makes his save. 42. 42, damn. Nice. So Kevin Dyke, 42, 21. Do it. Uh, that, that so uh, say 10. So Kev that takes 10 points of fire damage. Oh, you're going next. 10? 10. I go up yeah. in person. Because he made a save, he made a save oh, for half yeah. damage, and, and then, then he takes that. half damage oh, from his half rage. Half. Uh, Greenbeard takes 21. And it's looking rough. Greenbeard is now just <laughs> burned, like, <sighs> is looking a bit frenzied at this point. Um, the archer uh, does make the save. High dex. They take 21 points on him. Uh, Pardon me. Uh, this archer there. 
also makes it. Um, however, that one has taken. Why this didn't? No, that, that one has to take a lot of damage. That one has to be there. So it's 21. Um, this one here uh, does also make a save. Jesus. These guys are all made their fucking saves. Yeah. Surprise attack would have been really good on these guys. Um, that guy there does make a save. Well, like, they're all rolling 15 and above on this. God. Uh, this guy here uh, rolls a natural 20 on the save. Son of a fuck all of them! Well, that, that, that was the innocent there. Oh, oh yeah, well, we like it. Yeah. 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 Still job, 21 guys. points of damage for a peasant. He is incinerated, and you hear the horrible scream of pain as. Hey, we killed something, guys! That was the first thing we killed in this fight. First innocent? thing you killed in this fight was an innocent villager. <gasps> that is terrible. And with that scream that echoes in the back of your mind, knowing the decision you made. A little part of your heart sinks in your chest. Um, mm -hmm. However, Keyleth, I need you to go ahead and make a dexterity save as well. Yep, you're on it. Natural 19. All right, so you take 21 points of fire damage. Okay. Uh, Even though I can't see her. And actually, that guy technically would be. 15. Uh, be. Yeah, that, that innocent there would also be in the range. Uh, he doesn't make a save, he's also incinerated. Both of them burn. Whoops. Two peasants dead. Sorry. Uh, all right. Oh, man. So. Even though I can't see her, I'm so connected to her. Can I try to heal Pike? Just uh, a big shout. As a healing word spell, a creature you can see within range. So no, you have to be able to see her to, to aid her. Okay. Uh, Which you could do if you wanted to risk it. I don't know if I want to move. I, this well, guy's you're, you're, on me. Yeah, but you've already, you're also getting pummeled by arrows. That's true. Yeah. So maybe standing there is not necessarily the. Like up and over. Mm -hmm. Probably better. Peek over the backside. He's going to take a whack at me. Yep. He's going to take a whack at you in a minute anyway. Oh, can't you stay alongside him the whole time? Yeah. Uh -huh. If yeah. you're within five feet of him, he yeah. doesn't attack you. Just circle him. You. Okay. I'll circle. I, I don't I can't even really see it where I am, but yeah. Right there. You're just going around him. Five. Kid corner. So yeah, you get over this oh, side here. <laughs> and <Every> he's. <time. laughs> <laughs> All right, so you, you oh, move yeah, around him, that. you're over the edge, you can look down and you see Pike now surrounded by a number oh, of individuals. No, uh, you can use your bonus action healer if you'd like. You have some plan or something, right? I mean, who the fuck knows if that's going to fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> well, my healing is barely anything, so I'll inspire you instead, Okay. I think. I'll take it, I'll take it. So how do you inspire? Uh, I sing... Uh, well then I saw her mace, do 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 do. Now I'm a believer, do 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 do. Without a trace, do 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 do. Of blood in her hair. <laughs> I'm in love, ooh. I'm a believer. <laughs> take your D10. I'll take my D10 and use it later. And Scanlan's turn. That's in your turn. Grog, you are sealed. Yep. You have no turn. Boop. Um, Sorry, Grog. I was just trying to keep you from dying. Uh, brings us to Greenbeard, who's on a on a rough rough place right now. Uh, Greenbeard is going to go ahead and finally do something. God damn it! No. He's going to heal. Fucking yeah, you can. He's, 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 it's a new round. Kevdak, protect the heart. <laughs> and he reaches forward and touches him. <sighs> Fuck that guy. Molest him. Come on, no. And. No. Yeah, I'll counterspell that too. As he's right there, that's uh, heal. No, I knew it. I knew it. It's gonna heal um, him for all of his hit points. I, I counterspell <gasps> all of it. Okay, so that's a six level. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> Add seven, and you have to be to six. You have to get sixteen or higher. Can I cast it at a higher level. Heal is a uh, seven level spell. Well, what level are you casting counterspell at? No, heal does not do level. all of it, does it? Heal heals, heals, heals you 100%. Do I know what this no, spell is? 70, 70, 70. Oh, 70. That's That's the old, old version was like almost That's like bad. Oh. That's, That's a lot. Really bad. That's a lot. Really bad. Fifth level. Come on, scan. At fifth level? Yeah. All right, so you're casting it at fifth level. Uh, mm. Counter spell. So mark that off. Um, uh, this was less than equal to the level of the spell slot you use. So it is fifth level. Doesn't do anything. Because ah! what fifth level does is it increases the the equal level of the spell to cancel. Fifth level, it's a sixth level spell. You didn't roll. So you, now you just roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now roll. Okay. Add seven. You're trying to get 16 or higher. No! Oh! What is it? What is it? What is it? It was a three. But I'm 
I get advantage no. because I'm wearing this. <laughs> <laughs> With that, Greenbeard reaches out and touches Kevdak. Uh, Kevdak roars in pain as all of a sudden the the uh, the muscles and tenue in his arms <laughs> reform, and he's his still wounded but now functional army okay. crushes the gauntlet in his hand. Bring me the other! And you see um, one, one, the other one who was, that. No! was about to handle that! The gauntlet. Um, who was bringing him the gauntlet? That no ends Greenbeard's. No uh, Greenbeard is now going to go ahead and back behind here, Fuck. trying to get behind the tree as he now notices he's out in the open. Done his business in that moment. Uh, no, and die. as a bonus action, he's going to go ahead and turn into an earth elemental. Oh. Who is Greenbeard? <laughs> Fucking druids! Fucking druids! <laughs> kill him! Kill him, Kayleth! Everything Alrighty. just flipped. Kill him, kill we're, him! We're gonna die. Now, gotta run. Percy, you're up. Kill Kevdak. Sharpshooter. I can't kill. I, well, I was gonna say I can't. I can't kill Kevdak. It's a. Uh, he's. He just healed. Kevdak for... was on, like the cusp. No. So oh, he's, what? The he's cusp a cut. Now he has death. seventy we extra hit points. Him. He does. He heals seventy extra hit points. Yeah. Yes, from heal. Oh, I not seventy percent of his hit points. No, seventy, 70 hit points. We can still Here. take him. We can still oh, take him. seven hit points. No, seventy. Seventy hit points. One hundred and forty. We have to hit him for. He healed him seventy hit points. No, no, Is he no, still no. raging though? No, he just healed. Yeah. Him. No, he was almost. He can continue to rage if he's yeah, taking damage since damage. the last yeah. round. He's taking a lot of damage. We can do it. We can still take him. I don't know if we can. We can still take him. We've got to get those fucking gauntlets. All right. Where, uh, don't let him get the gauntlets, person. Where's the gauntlet? Can we see the gauntlet on the battlefield? Uh, it's yeah. over here right now. It's just kind of we on told the ground. Somebody where to he pick was. it up, but they didn't do it yet. Okay. Um, no, I can't do that, can I? Um, oh I look at the guy next to me. I'm gonna take a look. <sighs> oh God! I'm just gonna take a running jump off the off the off the <gasps> front of the of, of the front oh of the house. Oh my God! Oh my God! Uh, straight into the, uh, um, uh, in the kill box. You're going into the kill box. You're not fast. You're I'm, not no, a I'm fast gonna, person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump for the other, for the other house over here. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and make an acrobatics check. Oh, this will right. be a jump. Come this on. is athletics. It's a, not an acrobatics. I can't do an acrobatics. I can't parkour this. Assassin's Creed. My hands are free. I'll say, make, you can make an acrobatics at disadvantage or an athletics with a single roll, since this is actually like a strength of a run. It's not a big distance, so it's not a huge DC for a jump, but it's your call. Which um, I'll take an athletics. What, what do you think? Athletics? Or, uh, no, no, no. Assassin's um, Creed. So. Um, I'll acrobatics it with a disadvantage. All right, go for it. Six of one, half a dozen of another. Yeah, I. Yeah, no. What'd you roll? I rolled one. No. <laughs> so as you leap oh off the side, you really your foot hits the edge of of the tile, mm -hmm. and the blade behind you swings. Uh, which yep. is going to hit you, I believe, with a 20? Is that your AC? Uh, my AC is 18. 18, yeah. You take uh, seven plus four, 11 points of slashing damage. I'm fine with that. The blow, however, is just enough to throw you off kilter and you go plummeting down into the alleyway. Okay. Falling prone, you can okay. use your movement to get back up the remainder of your movement, but yet you can't move from there. The fall does deal an additional five points of bludgeoning damage. Don't care. All right, so Wait, you're, I'm you not get back none. up. You're now in this alleyway right here. Facing this line here is all you can really see from your perspective. Who can I see from my perspective? You can see uh, Vax, you can see Kevdak, and you can see this dude here, and kind of an archer, but as partial cover. Because okay, of the, I'm uh, going to uh, I'm going to uh, as a as a bonus ap action, I'm going to uh, um, uh, just do a quick heal. Okay, second wind. Uh, second wind. Alrighty. Just to make that go away. Um, God, that's an amazing 18 track. So that's a. Uh, Second win, man. One. Um, and, <laughs> ow! I'm gonna pull out <laughs> the big gun and I'm gonna take a nice, heavy, serious look at uh, Kevdak. What am I gonna hit him with? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a uh, sharpshooter shot in his face. Okay. I'm gonna go for a headshot with with the big gun. A headshot. The big headshot gun? with the big with sharpshooter. Right, so you're, so you're using the, the, the trick shot. Headshot. Trick shot on sharpshooter. Okay. I'm doing a, I'm doing a combo. Go for it. Um. <sighs> 23 to hit. That hits. Ah. Um, I don't feel good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have the worst headache right now. Um, I feel really bad right now. I don't feel, I don't feel, I don't feel happy. Um, <laughs> Um, so that's first, first the damage. All right. 
Um, oh. oh, man, come on, Percy. Ten. That's 26 points of piercing damage. 26 points of piercing damage, reduced to half. Um, 13. Uh, plus, he has to make a um, constitution saving throw against a DC of 19. Uh, it's constitution. Yeah, that's a 23. Wait, what? Okay. He, is, he just yeah. made his constitution save. He's got a high constitution saving throw. Um, it's kind of his thing. Hell. Reloading, taking another shot. Okay. I care. I don't care. Um, Anything sharpshooter? Uh, same thing, sharpshooter. Um, I'm going to. Uh, um, Any other trick shots you're going to use, or um, dead, dead shot? Anything you want to use? This is heroic death music right now. I hate this music you're playing. Um, you can switch it up if you want. No, no. No, it's uh, fine. Uh, Benny Hill. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop a grit for advantage because. Okay. For uh, dead, dead eye shot. Uh, dead eye with sharpshooter. Go for it. That's good. Oh my god. I'm gonna go up from there, and we do. All right. Um, that's 19 uh, to, to 26 to hit. That hits. With the minus five. Uh, oh yeah, no, that's with the minus five. Yeah. How about that? I rolled a 19. So. Great. Yeah. So go ahead and roll damage on that. Uh, asshole. 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 <laughs> That's better. Asshole, asshole, asshole. Um, is that a seven? That is a seven. That is a seven. Oh, so that's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30, 36 points of damage. 36 half to 18. 18. Um, Alrighty. And um, it's my two shots, so I'm not reloaded. That's your three attacks. That's that's my three shot, attacks. Shot, reloaded, shot. Shot, reloaded, shot. Um, I'm now going to... Um, I'm now going to uh, burn my uh, action action sur sur surge. Okay. And angry first, he's angry. Can I? Can I? I well, I was going to say. So it's a. Well, can, can I burn that as a run, or can I only burn that as an attack? Uh, I mean, it's as part of the function as like like your only, action, yeah. You can use your action as a dash, so you could. Um, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna use my action as a dash to to. Oh, fuck, there's no way around, is there? Uh, fuck it then. I'm taking the shot. All right, so your so fourth attack is a reload, fifth is an attack. Mm -hmm. Go for it. And a reload. Um, is this dead eye as well, or just regular? Um, I, know. I feel like I should have worn more deodorant. Uh, this maybe. is this is sharpshooter as well. No dead eye. Okay, um, sharpshooter, go for the shot. I think I've got some in my purse. Yeah. <laughs> um, Twenty-three to hit. Twenty-three hits. Oh. I want to save some grit for some problems. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not yeah, it is. That's Wait, did you roll that? That's oh, 20. fuck, yeah, thank you. 20 cider. That's the wrong one. Oh, that's so much better. That's much better. Uh, <laughs> you rolled 20 cider instead of 12. Yeah. Uh, I can't count my so brain. 13. 8, 9, 12, 13, 23. We're all breaking. I know, I know uh, we're breaking under 13, pressure. 26. Slow motion Thir for 51 uh, 32 episodes. <laughs> points of damage. 32 points of damage. 16 points of piercing damage, all right. Uh, and a reload. <laughs> all right, and a reload. Yeah, that's your, that's your turn. Silver fox, you. <laughs> Percy is done, uh, doing what looks like a grand total of... Yeah, my, my knee's going like a jack. Uh, yeah. Guys yeah. So it's like, sorry. 47 points of damage in that round. Oh. 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 Good job, Percy! That's a lot. Yeah. 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 So we're almost back to where we were. Okay, okay, angry at the fact that I'm not doing much. I'm gonna slowly, my, uh, for flavor, my air elemental is going to start burning a little fire. I'm going to drop my air elemental and I'm going to do firestorm. Okay, uh, Ryan, I need the uh, the mini box that was not brought. Mini box. Oh God! You mini get. box, mini box. Just borrow the. Uh, at some mini point, mini I'm just going to borrow the Thordak mini. Need to take a break. The Thordak mini. Oh my God! Go run! Go run! No, no, I can't. What no. if we all I'm die and we, we the dragons leaving. just take over everything? No, no. You know, it's this kind of intense fun that you can get in every loot court. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every month, you'll be on pins and needles to see what's in this box. <laughs> All right, for the time being, I'll, I'll use I'll name. use this one here. Um, all right, so, Keila, if you revert back. I revert back. Mm -hmm. I'll use this barmaid for the time being. <laughs> You're a barmaid. Oh, I've been demoted. God, you were <laughs> the mini beers for everybody. Yeah, oh. we were we were at the Ren Fair. To be it's an alternate timeline Two. version. All right, so Keyleth, what are you doing? You drop form. I drop form, and I'm gonna firestorm all up in this bitch. Oh, 
Yes. All right. Yes. Well, uh, yes. What are you Seventh firestorming? Level. Where? What are you doing? Seventh level. Seventh level. So for so it's ten, ten <laughs> square feet. So let's do uh, like yeah, ten. Uh, ten. Ten foot cubes. Ten ten foot cubes. Jesus. That's amazing. Well, see, those peasants would have died anyway. It's not yeah, me. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. I could have gone it. around him. You did it. She could have. So, she could have. How do you want to arrange this then? You just, all you of just them. Life a just easier. get all of them. So like, let's start. Can I do ten, including this archer? Ten. Uh, you could do <coughs> there, which would kind of burst off the corner that would hit Kevdak, the archer, and, uh, and Greenbeard. Greenbeard. Set that tree on fire. Okay. Um, yeah. actually, as and part the tree of the spell, fire. I can choose to not set the tree on fire. <laughs> okay. So, um, I choose <laughs> to spare the tree. All right, the tree is spared. Um, <laughs> all plant life is spared. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. And then from there, not a vegan. So, poof, there. From there, um, is that a guy? Who's that? Who's that? They're all bad. That's a bad guy. That's Everything's bad, guy? bad unless they've got a red ring around. Kill him, baby, guy, kill him. Come on, the red. There's a bad guy up there on the. There's, there's, there's a bunch Come on, of Kiki. Bunch Come on, Kiki. Okay, 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 okay. Right, so. Another one there. Wherever okay, there's so bad. We have there. Bam. Good. There. You'd, Bam. Be, you'd be able to, to get one that wouldn't actually hit you. That's fine. And then that one. Okay. And then Bam. Three. And then let's go. Get those fucks. Can I go like a four? four five, and then six, six. Seven. That's about as all And that got get. all of these guys? Yeah. And then can I go. What about Pike's Schmutz? Eight. Nine. Get this nine, guy. Ten. It wouldn't be able to get that far over. I mean, you could. Shit. The one, two. That's a lot of people. Three, Four, Four five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah! And get all of them? Uh, you can probably get most of them. This section there, yeah, because yeah, they're all pretty clustered. Do it, 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 do it. Okay. <sighs> and you're like, you're doing like an S, which is cool. So go ahead and roll damage on that, Gila. Zoro! <laughs> okay. Zoro. Ten. Zoro! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> How, what are you rolling? What is it? What is the 10d10. Or no, sorry, sorry, 7d10. Wait, That's let me lot. double check. Let me lot. double check. Make sure it is. All 10s. All 10s. Uh, I'd say you'd be able to get this guy. This guy, this guy you wouldn't be able to, but all the rest of these you could. Okay. 7d10. 7d10. Dexterity saving throws, correct against your spell DC. Uh huh, which my spell DC is 19. Alrighty. Nice. 19. 19. 19. 19. Um. Eight. Well, some of those are good. Some of those are good. Plus six, so that's 14, 16, 18, 19. Uh, another nine, uh, run another 28. two, 29. 29 total points of fire damage? 29 total points of fire damage. Mm. Okay, well, uh, uh, Kevdak takes, uh, he failed to save, but he takes half that, so 14 points of fire damage. Um, Back to where he was before the heal. Yep. We've, we've, un good. we've undone the heal. Greenbeard takes the full 29. Come on, he's got to be feeling it. But now uh, he's a tank. Turns, well, Greenbeard's an earth yeah, elemental. Yeah, Greenbeard's taking earth elemental damage He's now. Uh, that but archer, that archer just burns oh, yeah, just up. Archer attack. screams in pain as it incinerates from the firestorm. <laughs> Wait, yes. somebody died? An archer yes, died. An archer died. Oh, thank God. Fucking finally killed that guy. Takes 29 damage. That, hour and that 20 guy minutes. there. Two hours and 20 minutes. Bales one, takes one 29 down. damage. Uh, that druid fails. Good. Are they on fire Die, now, too? Die. They're all burning to death slowly. Yeah. 29 damage there. I'm that druid. And the rest of them it kinda fail. Rolled that Success. Rolled Failed one. Fail. Yes. Fail with another one. Fuck yes. Uh, okay, so two intense. Alrighty. Well, the entire square sets on fire. Vax quietly and quickly falls a little deeper. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, falls a little deeper. Oh. Alright, cool. Alrighty. I light Vax's fire in the meantime. <laughs> so, that finishes your turn with a firestorm. No, it does not! I'm gonna use a bonus action! To do Grasping Vine. Yes! High level, you can't do. Grasping Vine's a fourth level spell. You have to ah! only do up to a second level. Can you bonus. hurt him some more? Bonus action up. to heal? 
Fuck him up. I could do a bonus action to heal somebody. Fuck him up. Who's, da who's down really bad? Can I see Pike? Pike Everybody. Is really I can't far down. see Pike right now. Pike is out. Can, can, see me? See, can, can you see oh, you me rough? up in the air? Have you taken some damage? Um, I'm, yeah. Can you see me in oh, the Can I see Vex oh, flying yeah. off into the uh, distance? Currently, okay. roll a perception check. No. Not great. 14. Nope. You do not see Vex. You have no idea where she is right now. You just are shh. I see, I see, I can't hurt him anymore. I see Scanlan. That's all I can sort really of, see. Kind of. Scanlan, you can kind of see over there, but even then he's too far away for a healing word, I think. That's it. That's can my turn. All right, that ends Kill's turn. Deck, then. Totally. Mike, you're up. Hey, bro. All right. Just like you like this. So oh, to I'm going to look at the Fuck. three around me. Oh, One of them fell off the now. roof. So there's only three there, right? Correct. There are three. Uh, there are five there, totally. Well, one of them fell off the you roof. You accidentally knocked off one off the roof, Matt, oh, like gotcha. five minutes ago. That's my guy. Yeah. It's good to know. So there's how many there? <laughs> so there's four of them there. Oh, I'm sure the chat's drunk. Okay. He's, He's fell really asleep. drunk. Then. No, it's fine. I'm going off roof. I'm, I'm going to tell I'm them. I'm a barbarian. <laughs> I'm a barbarian. I'm a shitty. There you go. That'll I'm going work. to look at them. We've and been, I am going having... to command oh, yes. all four of them Yes. Yes. to attack each other. At fourth level. And they're all by their allies, so we we'll get advantage on each other. Oh. All right. Well, technically, it doesn't work they that way. Okay. Uh, I'll be your best friend. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Tag. What's the DC on that? That's me. Yeah. Spell, Spell DC. DC. 16. <coughs> That's a failure. That's a failure. Yes. Mm. That's a 20, so that succeeds. That's a failure. Yes. So one of them succeeded, three of them didn't. Oh, that's wow. What a call. Oh, Lord, a call. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> so, is it a new turn? No. Your bonus action stuff, what are you gonna do? Okay. Heal thyself. She's still a spiritual weapon. I should probably. Have that you do still have a spiritual weapon up if you want to use your bonus action to do that. You could finish him. Or I'm you gonna, could heal I'm yourself. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my spiritual weapon. Oh, shit. Spiritual weapon can Ballsy. only move 20 feet. Say again? It can only move 20 feet as a bonus. Oh, so it can only catch up to right him. There. Diagonally. Uh, I could probably do it. Yeah. It flies over yeah. objects too. It's, yep. it's 10. The back of his. The, so, yeah, you could do that, neck, but yeah. you can't see him right now. You'd have to move over to have him in view. And one of them would get an, an opportunity now? One of them would, if you were to try and dodge past, yeah. yeah. What do you want to do? You have to move anyway. anyway. You have? Um, it's up to you. What are you going to do? So, I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to. Yeah. Go make an acrobatic strike where you try and tumble in your armor between the legs of one of the guys in front of you. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You can do it, Pike. You, you can do it. You have inspiration. Pike moment here. Have inspiration. Oh, you do have inspiration. And you'll need it, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> plus, 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 plus. Whatever plus, your acrobatics plus. is. Plus, 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 plus. With, with advantage, with Shit, triple so disadvantage. Nice. That's 14. 14. What is it? 14. 14. 14. <laughs> Check your oh, he's going to the book for this. So much reference for a, for a, for a somersault. He's and isn't this guy technically? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to somersault. By I'm just going to well, sneak around. Yeah, is he flanked he's by flanked enemies? By enemies. So a little intense. Can't she run under his balls? It's just, okay. Let the DM no, no, no. DM. Let me deal with it, guys. <laughs> Can she punch him in the nuts? You don't want to prod me right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chapter don't three: bribe. somersaults. <laughs> All that I have and more. <laughs> You're doing amazing. Every week you do amazing. I'm wrong and I'm right. Um, let's see if the kids are all there. Uh, no. All right, so you, you managed to, to just barely push past, but you do trigger a second attack of opportunity to do so. Okay, maybe he misses. Um, maybe he's a shithead. From that guy, that big half orc right there before. that gets in your way. Um, so there's two strikes against you. <laughs> that is a natural 20. Oh. And um, that's going to be a 13. Okay, well, that messes. So that is. Uh, how many? It's, it's pretty low roll. Uh, six, ten points of uh, slashing damage. She's alive. All right, I'm. I'm alive. She's alive. What are you at? I'm alive. What are you at? Not Technically, I'm at fifteen. <laughs> 15. All right. Okay. 
So, so you, 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 as you dodge past, get slammed by two blades, you kind of arc around the corner and they're all just kind of looking at each other, kind of confused, some of them affected by this magic they aren't expecting. And uh, you rush around and you see in the distance Kevdak, who's now just kind of like getting shot a couple times, uh, gets set on fire, flames burst up, and he starts screaming out in pain. As you turn the corner, you look over at your spiritual weapon and you can nudge it forward. Right there, it's full movement, 20 feet. Let's go ahead and make your attack with your spell attack modifier. Does not have advantage because he's no longer paralyzed. Uh, 20. 20 hits, good old damage. <laughs> so 4d8 plus 4. Oh, wow, that's good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, it it's, it's doesn't fuck around. Still have, but. Yeah, well. Unless Aaron Ray. Plus what? Four. Plus four. Okay, 24. 24 halved. So 12. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I know, I forget about it too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I forget about it too. So this is what so, we all feel watching you fight. The blade kind of drifts, drifts over, and in a giant arc swings down whoosh, with a resounding, shining, metallic slam. Uh, the blade streaks through and just cuts this one like. The swath, the blade doesn't stop, it just passes through and leaves this kind of scar across his body of burned radiant energy. <sighs> Looks over and just glares at you from across the open uh, cobblestone of this, this marketplace. And you see for a second that, that, that look that Grog saw that caused him to drop his weapon. You suddenly feel just like this quake in your soul. This is a powerful entity that hatred is now bent on you. I can still move a little bit more, right? Because uh, that was only... You can if you'd like to. Yeah. You may take more attacks of opportunity, though. Why? Because the other guys are... if, you, you know, if you move further, you might move out of combat with the other guys that are there. But they're, no, they're attacking, they're attacking each, other. each other. The command move means on their next turn, okay. oh. they attack each other. It doesn't they, mean that they're they armed it, right? or dominated. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, but how many, how many feet did I move? How many feet am I able that to That would have been 10 anyway? feet. You can move uh, 15 more. Okay, I can move 15 more anyway. Yeah. But you will take two attacks of opportunity but if you move out of combat no, with these two. Wouldn't that be included mm -hmm. in the attacks that I just took? If I can move 15 total? You move 25 total because you're tiny feet. You move 10, you have 15 more feet you can move. Tiny feet. Tiny feet. <laughs> Should I just stay? Should I just stay? Yeah. I'll just, I'll just stay, I'll just okay. stay. Okay, you're staying. Because there's okay. more okay. chances to hit you. Yeah. Plenty of other yeah. people are going to get me out. Yeah. You need to heal yourself, dude. I know, I know, I know, I know. Barbarians are going now. This one picks up the gauntlet and is going to rush oh, over. Shit! And bring it to Kevdak. What? And it's just going to go ahead and like hold it there. As Kevdak kind of takes is his arm. Is the arm still in it? Uh, the arm is still in it, yeah. And he's like, kind of looks at it and just takes it with his free hand and just kind of clutches it to his chest and looks around the other one and says, Is he holding a weapon? We're going. And he's, but wait, was he holding we're a weapon? Going. We're going. We're going. He has no weapon. His weapon was pulled away I from thought, him. I thought someone brought him his weapon. Oh, but the hammer. He brings up the hammer as well, but he doesn't. But, not, but I thought he was hold, like, No, I'm, I'm trying. Yeah, I know. I'm desperately trying no. to give a reason why this couldn't work. No, he has no weapon currently. He tried okay. to reach for it, but he has no, had no function. Right, the time. He told right. someone to pick it up, so someone has your flaming war hammer. Um, these guys here uh, are going to move over here. No. Move over here. No. Uh, and that one's going to be attacking uh, Pike. Pike. This one here. So two attacks on Pike. And that's going to be a 13 and a 14. Probably <gasps> <laughs> really low on that one. Saren Ray. Pray, sir. I'm limp. I can't do it. I can't do it. You hear, you hear the growl behind you, and without even turning your head, you slam your shield up and poof, deflect one of the blows. Yeah. Look over your shoulder and glare at it as another one comes down. And this, you take your mace and swing it in a wide arc over and slam their blade against the stone wall of the side, and deflecting the entire attack. Um, as that's happening, both of those guys go forward. <laughs> Two and a one. Goes up against one of the peasants and strikes, and the peasant just ducks out of the way and manages to avoid the attack. That's good. That's good. This guy over there with the giant club goes down, and uh, one of them hits, inside. dodges one of the attacks. The other one does come down at uh, eleven. Yeah, this peasant gets smashed. Oh no! Was that the little kid? No, this was the drunker guy. <laughs> well, he didn't feel it. As far as he knows. Yeah, died happy. Um, died happy. Hmm. All right. Oh, so lucky. Uh, that mm -hmm. ends their turn. It's the druid's turn now. Oh god. There's just so many. I know. They just all get to go. Uh, That's how they all feel when we attack. <laughs> this druid here yep. is going to move forward, seeing you over there, uh, Vax. Yep. Uh, reaches out towards yeah. you, as it only has its 
fourth level spells in the lower left. Because <laughs> you, <laughs> you counterspell, motherfucker. Um, it's gonna go ahead and cast Blight on you, Liam. I need bad. you to go ahead and make a Constitution saving throw. That's what As the druid reaches out with you with its hand, it says, "Kevdak, inside." And concentrates, gripping out this this uh, this female Goliath. You can see where like these thick uh, braids in the back of her head and pulled in, into a very very tight uh, braid for the lower part of her back. Reaches out and grasps. You feel the blood begin to uh, pool in parts parts of your body, and your veins turn dark around. And Constitution save, right? Yes. This is real bad. Uh, what is that? That's eight. That's not real. Eight total. 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 All right. Don't make that face. You take 41 points of necrotic damage. Yep. Uh, as you feel the energy pulse through your entire body, and it's like all the blood in your body momentarily becomes toxic, and your vision kind of blurs, and you feel the dizziness hit you, and you almost stumble to one knee, but you catch yourself against the wall. <coughs> um, tapped me. That ends the druid's turn. Now the blade mongers are going to go. All right. These guys are all going to attack each other. Yep. Yeah! Uh, it's a party. Except for that one. Are they not going to attack him as well? Uh, well one of them is going to go ahead and attack Pike because uh, it was the one that wasn't affected by the command spell. Uh, that's going to be uh, 19. Nope. Okay. Just yeah. misses. And a 13. Nope. <laughs> Once again, just boom, cannot hit this armored yeah. little gnome who's like pushed against the wall and you're just like deflecting blows and taking hits against the armor that are like denting the front of it and you're just kind of grinning and bearing it. I'm uh, growling. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are attacking each other now. <laughs> At uh, seven really hits. I see blood. They can't brown. hit you, but they can hit each other. Mm. Uh, two attacks against that guy and then the other guy both hit. So the first guy takes 14. 24 points of damage? <laughs> Hold on. I can, but I'm like, just focus on the mission. Focus uh, on the mission at hand. Ends up uh, that guy there. Then also takes 22 points of damage on them. Okay. They just start hacking into each other with their blades suddenly, trying to figure out what's happening. And, uh, Technically, you know, the barbarian took strikes. No, so if the third one actually that missed you, that would have been attacking its own guy because that was the one that, that didn't take it. So he would have been. Uh, one strike against this guy. So he deals an additional 10, 9, 13 points of damage against one of the other ones. Okay, gotcha. So that finishes their turn there. Uh, nope. These guys here are going to move around the fire. This guy's gonna move up over here. Shit, shit. Everyone's a disadvantage with me, just a reminder. Yeah. This guy here is gonna go ahead and three, and then using Greenbeard, who like reaches out and grabs him with his elemental arm and kind of alley-oops him up onto the roof. Oh, <laughs> dick. Um, with the acrobatics roll, rolls a one. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! He gets he slams into the side and instead and falls, falls right back to the back ground. Down. Missing, Who his, like missing his turn. Some other loser that I yeah. know of. <laughs> the green beard mis miscalculates and just yet. actually slams him against the wall. I know. And, <laughs> and, and the Goliath kind of slides down. <laughs> takes four points of bludgeoning damage from that. Okay. <laughs> four points of bludgeoning. Alrighty. Uh, and that guy there is going to go ahead and strike at the child. No! Uh, a three? And fourteen. Shifty kid, come on, come on, little, little, little. He's a weasel. He's a weasel. Uh, he's one fucker. No, come on, he's scrapper. He's, he's dodgy. He's scrap. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Kid gets cleaved. We didn't save anybody, and we killed ourselves. Maybe we can, if we kill everybody, maybe There's hundreds can more. Raise um. They're just now trying to find a way to draw you out. They're like taking turns doing <laughs> this. Uh, as each person they strike down, they look about the rooftops again for more of you. Um, that's going to go ahead and 
Uh, these guys here are now going to go ahead and start swarming over towards the front. This guy here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't quite get to you, Vax. Um, this guy here is going to, after seeing Percy jump down, is going to go ahead and jump down to meet you from behind. Mm. See if he makes his. God. Uh, he fails. I don't know. He falls prone. Takes. I'm coming. <laughs> he takes 12 points of falling damage. Oh, help. Uh, however, he does use the rest of his movement to stand back up. And he's going to go ahead okay. and take two swings at you, Percy. Uh, that's going to be a 23 oh. to hit. Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull my magic shield and get my and bring uh, actually that, I I would have to have a 24 AC for that not to correct uh, yeah no I'm gonna yeah that's okay it's... second one's a natural 20 nope. so the first strike yeah. hits you for what is the deal? 12 points of slashing damage okay second strike double ones on the crit so uh, that's <laughs> four eight points of slashing damage with the second hit <laughs> roll double ones on his crit that's really no, frustrating I'm I'm, I'm fine. you're fine with that I'm fucking all right, that ends there. Top of the round, Vex, you're up. Okay. As you stand there now, bleeding profusely, holding the necklace that holds Grog. What are you doing? I'm gonna fly over right above Kevdak. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Um, like a good fifty feet. Yeah, it's fifty. All right. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna poke a ball <laughs> right out so he can attack straight out of the gate, just like I cannonballed Trinket. And I am willing. <laughs> All right. Aren't you at like, death's door? Yeah. yeah. I'll is. say essentially because you held your action last turn. If you wanted to go ahead and take your action to do a drop attack on this. Point here. Can yeah, this would. be my my bonus? So I'm dropping him out as a bonus, and then I still can attack. Uh, locket activation. For me? It's only I mean, it's only a locket. It's yeah, not it's like just, it's a full I'd move. Say, I'd say it's your bonus action to do it. Yeah. Okay. So Grog, you were released, <laughs> falling down to land at like on top of Kevdak with the blood axe in a downward arc. Yeah, big wind up as we're coming down. Go ahead and roll an attack. Yeah. Any yeah. chance I can make this reckless? Oh, no way. Yeah, why, yeah. Luke? Oh, no, no way. No, no, I'll get attack. Advantage is against right. you again. Up to you. <laughs> Thank God for that. Uh, Natural uh, 20. <laughs> Look at it. The first one was a Fuck one. Fuck you! The That's first a one was a one. Why the 20s, one. man? You can't, you can't, you gotta stop this. <laughs> that's a 20, the and first one was And that's why you did one. reckless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go ahead and roll damage on this. Get him wrong. Oh, oh my this god. This is a quint quintuple critical. Does that mean he gets the three twelves again? Uh with with the brutal critical at this level, how many extra dice is it for you? <laughs> uh brutal critical is one additional damage die during critical hits. But then you've gone that's gone up since you leveled previously. That's true. So you are now at I believe I think it's two. So three additional. Uh brutal critical, yeah, thirteen increases to two. So you roll an additional two D twelve on the attack. So roll one D twelve plus uh, you're Seven. not raging anymore because you spent oh, the last right, round. That's correct, yeah. Plus know. three. We don't know. Alright, so plus three. Of course so that's so that's ten. Ten. Uh, plus two more d12s. Awesome. One's still filled with meat. That's a twelve. So that's twenty-two. <laughs> and a ten. For a thirty-two. And then double that? Uh, and then. No. Oh, well, you don't, you don't double, double the first roll. Yeah, the double the first. Uh, right, which was ten, so twenty, so forty-two. Forty-two. 42 nice. Means it's a twenty-one damage. How do you want to do that? Yes! 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 As you, as you, oh, as the God. shadow fires from the necklace as she holds it aloft, bleeding and shaking, you appear and dive down in silence. Oh my God! The whole square coming towards you as Kevdak clutching and the one nearly ruined arm, the other arm that you bisected, is turning the corner, about to open the door to, to dive into the house to avoid it, looks up just in time to see you streaking down. What do you do? I say, for stranger! And I sink the egg right into his neck and pot him perfectly down the middle. <laughs> With the sheer force of the blow, the weight behind it, and the intent, the axe hits him 
right in the side of the neck, cleaves off part of his ear, shaves off part of his skin here, exposing the jawbone, hits here, breaks the clavicle, tears through it, and every single rib is destroyed. It cuts right through the center of this oh. giant body until it gets to about the midsection where it catches, finally. The upper torso just oh. splits open and just covers you with gore. However, you still impact. Yep. Um, oh, yeah. Not raging. Nope. You take. Uh, hey, it's okay. He's got. Oh, his shit. He's got his trick. Twenty-five points of fall damage from the impact. That will put me unconscious and twenty-one points under. And twenty-one points under. You have that barbarian ability. Just I do. With, I have, with, I with have that, be part of this. That relentless is, rage. If you drop to zero hit points while raging, you're not raging. So yeah. As you shout, the blow in a very Superman versus Doomsday way, cleaves him in half, and as you slam into the ground, you pull the axe free as your shattered leg bones give under and you fall to the ground, smile as you see his form crumple, and then you <laughs> face first in the ground before him. Who's next? Um, oh, I'm still going. Yeah. It's still my turn. It's your turn. You watch as every single herd member in the uh, entire uh, open square just kind of gasps at this whole sight. They all kind of turn, hearing you scream for strong jaw and see this happen. As Kevdak's, Kevdak's body slumps to the ground, it shrinks back down to its average size, and you crumple to the ground, smiling and fall next to him, and everyone just kind of takes a moment of breathless silence. What are you doing, Vex? God. Wait, are you dead, Kronk? He's unconscious. He's unconscious. He can run over to him. Okay. I... You just don't go uh, over there. I mean, my only option to heal him is to land and touch him. I can, I can, I There's, can. He's surrounded by baddies. Well... Maybe they'll bend your knee. Fuck it. Yeah. I'm gonna land and touch Grog. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with the speed of the broom? I uh, It should say on the broom how fast you can move on it. Do I have that somewhere? Uh, okay. You know, in your mm -hmm. room chapter. I'll find it for you. There's a oh, broom. wait, wait. Kill me, kill me. Just a moment, guys. Room of flying. Uh, a speed of 50 feet. So you move from over here, which would have put you, it's about 50 to get there. So you could use your action to dash with it, you'd land, but that's all you can do. I couldn't do anything else. No. Okay, <coughs> then I guess I'm just gonna stay where I am and, um... Hold, hold action. Can I hold my action? Yeah. I'm gonna hold, hold my action potion? until... Uh, Did she be throwing it? Just... She already used her, yeah, it's an action to feed a potion to anyone. Yeah. What are you gonna do, Vex? Hurry up. I'm gonna hold my action until um, until Grog is healed. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, and I can I shout anything? If you want to. I am gonna shout, witness Grog strong jaw and bend the knee. Yeah, it's great. 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 Really Make an intimidation check. Okay. Honor is death. Nitro! Don't hit the table. I was gonna go inspect it. Oh, oh my god! It hit, but it no, was. It was a twenty clear. 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 I trust you guys. I trust you guys. It's all ones and twenty. Oh, we oh, have, we have these two-sided die. I saw it. I it's swear. I swear on everything. I saw. This is gonna be an interesting night to explain to the internet, guys. Uh, 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 all right. You opened it up to the dice, and oh the God. dice decided. We witnessed, we witnessed. Witnessed me. I witnessed you! <laughs> okay. So, uh, at this point in time, you watch as Greenbeard's form shrinks down and shifts back into his Goliath form, still kind of busted. He's just kind of looking down at the destroyed, crumbled body of Kevdak and you there on the ground as well, looking up at you above, just kind of hovering. Um, he looks over at the other Goliaths near be, near, nearby here that were rushing in, and they all kind of step out and backwards, inspecting this body. Um, 
There's a moment, there's a pause, a moment of pause. But they're all, they've all paid attention to what you said. Um, that ends your turn. Um, it is now the archer's turn. Not me, right after events? I'm sorry, you're up next. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna use disengage to back a little bit away from them. I wanna scrabble up the wall, uh, just, no, where's the light? No, I wanna go up by Keyleth. You're pointing at the screen. So you move around, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're so tired. I'm the first so one tired. to do that and pass her, and I wanna jump down and land in front of Grog. Okay, so you run past there. And jump in front of him, between him and every, not green, but between Grog and everyone over uh, over there. Okay, so you're leaping technically onto the body of Kevdak, that's what you do. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> you land onto Kevdak's form. Very angry slash, I'll say for the purposes of this, you're there, because Kevdak's body is way too big right now to put on the but field. But we are so going to loot that. <laughs> so I'm going to loot that ship. All right, you if land. We survived this. With your hasted movement, I'm making an acrobatics check sure. for the jump. That's fine. Uh, tw uh, it's 25. Yeah, you scale up, run, leap, <laughs> land there, be kind of sinking into the body. And I land on him, and I say, Kevdak has fallen. Will you let Strongjaw rise? And I hold my action to attack. They come at me. Okay. It's the archer's turn. Um, this archer just kind of has, has its arrow trained on you. It's going to hold its action. Ooh. This archer here is going to move up to see what's happened. A dashing, to just kind of take a look out and see what happened. Doesn't get its turn. This archer here, who's now moved, moves over to this side with its arrow trained on you as well, is also going to hold its action. They're just all looking at each other. It's this kind of Mexican standoff moment where they're all just poised and ready. Everyone's holding their actions right now. Um, would be Kevdak's turn. Scanlan, you're up. I'm pretty far. I'm gonna jump down off the roof and move towards Grog. Okay, so you run down. Uh, okay, uh, the guy who is up against you has looked over and is also kind of not paying attention to this moment. Oh. Make a stealth check. Stealth check, yeah. Uh, four, uh, 13. 13. Uh, as you rush down the thing, he looks over and looks at you and hey, hey! And can't even catch you, you're oh. too fast. Hey! Um, <laughs> hey, hey, hey! hey. Make an acrobatics check as you leap off the roof. Uh, 19. 19. You gnomish three point land in the square. <laughs> um, uh, that You're right next to Pike now. You've landed just next to her. You're, as you're around the corner now, you see Scanlan just <laughs> right next to you. Hi. Uh, you about 15 more feet you can move if you wanted to. Uh, uh, move 15 feet? Okay. I will. Can I, I can't take her hand and walk, too. She, she can't move right now. Can um, no, not at the okay, moment. Okay, well, I'm going to continue I mean, to we walk. Could, I could say if you wanted to, you could move half your movement and take her with you. Okay, I'll do that and take her with me. Okay, you take her hand. Uh, hmm? uh, I, I, and you. I'm going to use he, healing word. Oh, shit. Okay. What just happened? So you and Pike move just there, holding each other's hand. Okay. I'm gonna use healing word on Grog, uh, and I'm just gonna start chanting "Strong Jaw, Strong Jaw, Strong Jaw, Strong Jaw, Strong Jaw," strong jaw. Strong and jaw. communicate that as a healing word to him. Okay, go ahead and roll the heal on that. Um, I also want you to go ahead and make a persuasion check. Me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. Uh, well, the heal is <coughs> eight points. So you What's go from zero, you go to zero, and then eight. Okay. And a so persuasion Wait. check? Yep. I'm sitting on your chest. No, you're sitting on Kevdak's chest. Uh, that's good too. Well, <laughs> I mean, come on. I know. It's 23. Okay. That is your superpower, right? Good to know. Finishes your turn, Scanlan? No, I have an action still. Yes, you do. So, I will cast Bigby's hand and lift Grog up like 30 feet like a fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> if he's willing. <laughs> I will Art. say <laughs> this, because I want to do this. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I had to cast that at level six. By uh, the way. Is it is it full palm up or is it Barca Lounger style? Right, yeah. 
Hmm. Uh, that's because, like you know what? Because or? because he's the god and the hand is subservient. It's the back of the hand. <laughs> it's a dainty lift. Perfect. Like Grog is now currently being held aloft, <laughs> right there. Nice. <laughs> As the hand is clutching Grog's strong jaw. Lifting him up into the air, you're conscious now as the hand's kind of yeah. holding you on its back and you you get up from one knee. Grog, it's your turn. Pinky's up. Pinky's up. <laughs> Pinky's up. Tea oh, time. My hurt. Oh, <laughs> Hear me. Fallen is your mighty leader, Kevdak. The very Goliath swine who would have domesticated you like a common household cat. Who would have made you bend the knee to a mere dragon? I show you this. And I reach into the bag of holding and I pull out one of the dragon's teeth that is still in there and I toss it into the middle of the square. It <laughs> clatters to the ground at one of the, the feet of one of the nearby uh, uh, blade, uh, blade storms. It just like stops it with his foot and looks at it, picks it up. I would tell you that under the correct rule, under the turn of power to this herd, dragons would bend the knee to the herd of the storm. Where is Zanror? They all kind of look at each other, and Greenbeard kind of hobbles out, still wounded and hurt, into the center of this area. Does he have an actual name, or is that just his name? Greenbeard's his name. Oh, great. <laughs> Uh, steps out into the middle, looking up at you. Strongjaw, you stand above us all, <laughs> in a way. <laughs> Claiming dominion over a herd that you fell to and left behind for years. Though you struck down Kevdak, what do you think makes you align with the interests of our people? Oh, you mistake me, seer of the herd. I do not mean to lead this herd, but rather to empower you to more powerful game. I'm here to inspire your aspirations. Never would I ask you to bend the knee. Only would I ask you to live and fight and perhaps die in the most beautiful death you could possibly attain. Join me and my fellows. Come to our aid when I call. And with that, we will chase down dragons, gods, and more. <laughs> Make a persuasion check with an advantage. Yeah, with an advantage on that. <laughs> It's only an eleven. Can I use War God's blessing, or? Uh, I don't think it works for abilities. Can I can I assist him with a with a sky right of strong jaw? <laughs> Be strong. <laughs> <laughs> like a like, storm cloud above him. Inspo, <laughs> inspo, like, inspiration from anywhere. It's a little late for that. Yeah. It's okay. At this point, Greenbeard just kind of sizes you up from a distance. Everyone else is kind of waiting for a, for a word. You can see everyone is like hand on the side of their weapons looking at each other, and there's just this extremely tense air. Green, uh, Greenbeard turns around and looks to two of the, uh, in the individuals near the, the front of the building and goes, Bring out Zanroar! And the two of them go inside the door and close it behind them. <laughs> they step inside the building and there's this long silence. You wait for 30 seconds. Can I take a healing potion while they're inside? I'm just like up on things. Can I? Can I keep talking? You can, yes. Can I, can I heal Grog? Uh, are you I gonna step up? I can see him. You can see him, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast heal on him. You're gonna cast heal? Yeah. As you begin to like go for your, your holy symbol, you can see two of the warriors behind you twitch for their weapons. Hold! It is not necessary. Brothers, look me in the eye. As the taste of food lost its appeal, as the zest for life fallen from your hearts, living in this domesticated dwelling, I promise you this. Hear me, and I promise you adventures and glory 
that is worthy of this herd. <laughs> the door slams open from the front of the Margrave's home. You see as the two individuals come out with chains over their shoulders, as they drag out into the center two individuals. You see another half-giant Goliath uh, man, one that you've all seen once before on your way to Craghammer months and months ago. Or, yeah, about. Um, you see him swollen in the face, bruised, and in shackles, dragged out and thrown to the ground. Uh, and the other one holds over his shoulder another chain as he pulls out behind him what looks to be uh, a half-giant woman uh, with the hair on the sides of her head shaved, one single long uh, man of hair, and what looks like she's with a child, also in shackles, and she's kind of pushed to the ground with, with uh, Xanroar. Xanroar kind of looks up and... You can see it kind of closing his eyes like the daylight itself is very bright and he probably hasn't seen light in, in a period of time. Strong jaw. Cousin. <laughs> well, this is a surprise. Your face seems a little different. At this, at this moment, he looks over and glances and can see the body of Kevdak in, Kevdak in the ground for the first time. And then he goes, You did this. Scanlan. Lower me down. I swoop him down. <laughs> uh, do you want to be on the ground or just above it? On the ground. On the ground. But uh, I, I release him and I make, I, I sort of make like a fist that clenches right next to him, just okay. in case anything, <laughs> anything goes down. Okay, so, so, as you're brought down to the ground, Bigby's hand uh, sets you gently onto the cobblestone. I take a few steps forward. Yes. This is my work. A debt fulfilled after many, many years. I fear the herd's lost its edge, its priorities. My father had grown docile in this place. But he wouldn't be if Whispers hadn't found his ears. And he looks over at Greenbeard. Greenbeard immediately steps back and goes, look at him in shackles. This isn't a warrior. This is a slave. Both of them spits in their direction. Strange. I would ask, why is he in shackles? What did Zanror do? They would draw this sort of ire from the herd. The the one that's holding the chains on Xanroar kind of pulls him a little tighter, and Xanroar's kind of like <clears throat> lifted up a little bit off of his kind of leaning forward position. He's now on his knees, and his arms are pulled up in towards his torso. Um, and Greenbeard kind of looks back towards you. The Sky Shield, he spoke against his father. He was attempting some sort of a mutiny. But we quelled that right quick. If he hadn't time to think about it, his father was deciding what to do with this traitor. Mm. And his next of kin. You, however, seemingly stopped his trial, so uh, I think it's only fitting that you do the honors of finishing the job. And you can see as, uh, uh, as you were lifted off the ground and everything, you, you did not have your weapon with you. Uh, as you were kind of on the ground, lifted up, Greenbeard steps over and takes the blood axe from the ground, walks up to you, and hands it out, and looks over to Xanroar. I am sorry, Xanroar, but I will make it a glorious death. Bring me the gauntlets as well. Let it be. And the two of the other individuals, well, one of the uh, kind of half orc individuals kind of looks over Hush and starts backing away from this. This is too much for him. There, there's this now, this, this kind of tribal tension, this cultural tension that only exists within the initial herd, 
and it's been only recently adopted by the uh, the river maw that were absorbed by the herd and are still kind of confused by this. Um, uh, two of the Goliaths step over and pull and pry out the somewhat soggy leftover arm uh. of uh, Kevdak. Uh, kind of well. like when you're eating lobster. Yeah, it's kind of like pulling out of the shell. Yeah. <laughs> Shrinks as it leaves. And they toss him to the ground before you. Reach down, put on the gauntlets. Kevdak, Kevdak at this point is still being held up by the chains and just says, Zenra. <laughs> Sorry, Zenra, thank you. Um, what? Did you think? It was unbefitting of us all to be living under one of those beasts. Under my rule, we were going to take back our power as a people. Quiet yourself. I've heard enough. And I lift the blood axe and I say, you are a disgrace to this herd. And I will return this herd to power. And I pivot and I drive the blood axe into Greenbeard. Yes! Oh shit! Roll an attack. Okay. Yeah, you do, Medic. Reckless? If you want to. I will. <clears throat> no, get the fuck out. Natural it's a fucking 20. natural 20. Roll damage. We're gonna have to get these dice calibrated later. <laughs> but why does it only happen like when it's like a story element? That's an 11. That's yeah. Watch us like next week, Critical Role <laughs> implements dice cam. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, so that's okay, awesome. Okay, just take a picture. I'll take a picture. So that's fifteen. All right. And then two more. Two more. Yeah. Watch next week as we fail ball. to open the door to his house. Yeah. For an hour and a half. Yes. Can't Seven. Roll. Can't roll above a five. Next I'm 37. tweeting that right now. How do you want to do this? Homes. Oh, you got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had taken a shit ton of damage in the battle and was already kind of like yeah, moving by. Bubble. He had like twelve more hit points left. So. It seems all the poison came from his head. So I'll remove that from his body. <laughs> and with that moment, shoop, with a very slick snapping sound, the blade goes through, and the the neck retreats as the head continues forward and just stumbles to the feet as Greenbeard's body takes an instinctual step backward and then just falls lifeless in the center of the marketplace. All of the rest of the herd kind of like moves for a second nervously. I spin and I say, do you see? Do you see what staying in one place does? This is what weakness looks like. I would return you to the wild. I would return you to power. But you will have to do it under this Goliath's rule. Unchain Zanror. I point Bigby's hand like he was too. <laughs> As Bigby's hand <laughs> points to Zanror, the two that are holding the chains move up and begin to unchain them both, taking the shackles off his hands and the female Goliath at his side. Eventually he stands up, reaches over and puts his arm around her and says, I'm sorry, Wara. Wara. Wara? Wara. Wara. She stands and goes, do not be sorry. It seems we've been delivered from our judgment. And she looks up towards you. You don't recognize her. Um, she's not from the original herd. General, she is quite a beauty. Congratulations. You saved us narrowly being executed, Rogue. He stands up and gets to the front of all the rest of the herd there. Call forth the rest of our people. We do not leave this town yet. We claim Westrun home for one more night. For it is tomorrow at dawn. We slam our blades against the hide of the dragon. No. This is honor. This is pride. This is a life worth living. Will you join us in this glory and pride, fair cousin Rock? You have proven yourself worthy of life, the respect, and the might of the herd of storms. How many do you number? That's 
Check he looks about and takes in the mental math of all the people that were killed. Um, to be fair, we didn't kill that many. I know, he, he took a few, a few down. Just, We'd stand between the people that were loyal to me and my father. A good 43 men strong. More than we need. And I grab my earpiece and I go, thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have a busy day tomorrow already. I don't know if <laughs> we, we should a, add we, dragons we really to it. We're dragon. hunting another dragon. Just say yes, just say yes. We can always leave in the dead of night. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> All this bloodshed is giving me a terrible itch in my ear. We shall stay with you. And tomorrow, we will bathe in the blood of a dragon. He steps forward to you now. There's a slight limp to his walk, but he's, there's too much pride for him to show it as he tenses. He reaches out his hand to you and clasps it in his own <laughs> Beastmaster style, holding <laughs> on to it. Extra in honor. <laughs> blood of dragons. It shall be. It shall be. He releases the grasp. Let them walk amongst us as brethren. Come, we have much preparation to do. And he goes back to Wara and she kind of limps into her arms and she takes him up. And it's her strength now lifting him on his feet. And the two begin to make their way across the rest of the center of town. All the rest of them take their weapons and they relax. And they still keep a very wary eye of you. There's, the words have been said and there is still this tenuous truce but they're still coming off the cusp of adrenaline warfare and the slaughtering of the previous leader. However, they are going along with the words that were spoken, and there is a look of general fear and respect in their eyes, though guarded as it may be. What do you guys want to do? I'd like to sever the remaining gristle away from his arm that's holding the gauntlet on. Well, the, ga the gauntlets have been are they retrieved they're and given to Grog. Grog, yeah. Grog, Grog, yeah. Grog, Grog. Where in the fucking gun? Then I would like to loot Greenbeard's body. Yeah, <laughs> Could you do me a favor? Thank you. Yeah. Could you butcher me a, a skull of Cat Dak, please? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Can, yeah, can we? I'm going to gingerly pat land. the one who just I'm gonna land. stuck a blade at me and walked away. I'm going to land, all right. <laughs> and I'm going to call Trinket out. <laughs> Trinket, who's been kind of just been hiding, hiding in the, the back building. room. Just things <laughs> happen so fast for It did him. happen. Uh, and they were really strong people. Yeah. And okay. I got to go over and heal. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go over. Are there any remains of the little <coughs> boy? Yeah. Is it too late to heal any of yeah. them? Do you have anything that can heal They're the little boy or uh, bring him back tomorrow? So I, I go like. Can key anything? I go and I check the little boy. How bad is he? Is he beyond the point of return? He's, he's done. Could I resurrect him or something? Yeah. Can I start I have, I have a raised dead spell. I have raised dead. Do you? Mm. Does it turn into a zombie or does it? No, it just raises them from the dead. one hit point. Okay, yeah, do that. Yeah, kind of drag it as okay. a dragon. Okay, I'll go with the little boy and see okay. if I can. Okay, okay. this will take a while. All right, so as as the rest of the herd move on, following Xanroar, they begin to separate to gather the rest of the herd throughout the town. A few stay behind, just keeping watch. Um, I'll as, assist Pike in any way that I can. Okay. I'm going to sit and fix my gun. That's more important. <laughs> than I, All right, it's going to cost gonna do, uh, 500 gold oh, or consumed by the casting of the spell as part of the... 500 gold? I'll help. Okay, takes an hour. Oh, now <laughs> you've got a problem with it. <laughs> no, so, <laughs> as you guys take this time, uh, this is a short rest for those of you who aren't part of this ritual. Um, you complete the ritual, Go ahead and make a, a religion check. You already boxed up your stuff. <laughs> she was like, I'm done, I'm out, peace. A 20? D 20 and add your religion. Ooh, that's good. good. <coughs> 24. Okay. Uh, Vex, you said you wanted to help. What do you want to help with the ritual on? Oh, no, I said I wanted Oh, sorry. She was it. assisting, I was helping with the money. Right, sorry, helping with the money. Uh, um, uh, how are you aiding with the ritual? What, how am I aiding with the yes. ritual? What were you doing? Were well, she was casting, she was preparing the ritual right. and preparing the sigils and taking out the components and praying to Saren Ray and speaking the rites, uh, which kind of channel through her celestial language, though she doesn't understand celestial, she speaks it through as part of the spell, almost like I, a I speak theish. celestial. I also speak, I'm down. no, I speak primordial. Yeah. If you're getting that confused. Um, how are you waiting in this? 
Can I just use, like, place my hand on his chest and use my, like, kind of place the other, um, my other hand on the ground and try and use natural healing to assist? Sure. Go ahead and make a straight wisdom roll. <coughs> Actually. Natural one. Okay. Can I assist? How would you like to assist? I would like to come over and start listening to the chanting that she's doing in Celestial and harmonize and, and bring a voice to it since I can't actually speak Celestial. Huh. Roll a performance check. <laughs> performance. That's lovely. Mm. Harmonize. 21. All right. As you finish the ritual, both the voices of Pike and Percy begin to harmonize across these various refrains in a language that in itself, when spoken, especially in this uh, rhythmic, ritualistic way, it seems to almost create a third voice. And then you hear clearly there is a third voice harmonizing, harmonizing with them that you don't know where it's coming from. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, oh, you're scatting in the corner. As, as, as the, the, the beautiful musical tones of the singing come to a close, your holy symbol, the glow fades, and a moment passes before you hear the soft <coughs> coughing of the child's uh, throaty, Expulsion himself, taking in his next breath of air. He sits up, kind of cradling his head. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's okay. I I dump a cure wounds in him now. It's okay. Welcome <laughs> 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 back. Not a potion. I cast cure wounds. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. It's like oh. Not that. I know. Mine and lift him up by the neck. Shot right in the chest. Oh. Yeah. Six, six years of celestial, and they use, when are you ever going to use it? It finally pays off. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Useless language, otherwise. Thanks for All right. helping. Chris. That was lovely. So, Thank you. That the child is brought back to life, oh, he healed, healed, confused, dazed, but unreally understanding the circumstances around him. Just kind of happy to. He heals be, twenty-four hit points. Yeah, he's he's good to go. His, his, his wounds close. The dry blood's still there, but he seems to be in perfect health at the moment. Um, um, although your, a little weak and worse for wear. Where's your mother, child? I don't know. Was she here in the square with you? No, everything just went by so fast. They they tried to pull them out, but they found me and they pulled me out and brought me here. That's all. There was a f fight and a lot of yelling. That's all I remember. Where do you live? Up by the temples. Okay. Well, we'll help you find your family. Mm -hmm. And maybe while we're there, we can see if your grandfather is around. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of smiles a little bit. You, know, you still see like the blood, dried, the dried blood streaks across his face, and it, but you can see past that to the smile that peeks through beneath his dirty face. I lift him up and put him on Trinket so we can start walking. Okay. And he kind of laughs and Trinket kind of licks him and kind of takes some of that off and he's kind of just excited to be grasping something, though he kind of slides a couple times. You can see he's just weak from the the remnants of the resurrection spell. I just kind of give him a boost. Okay. Keep his butt up there. Anybody else doing anything for the short rest? I would like yes. to not only remove Ked Beck's head. Okay. Okay. Just, just the upper part, no jaw, just the upper skull. Yeah. And I would like to use the blood axe to fillet the skin around the bear tattoo off Ooh. in a patch. Okay. Good plan. Is there anything else to loot off of Kevdak? I mean, there's if there was there was the blood axe, there was the uh, gauntlets. the gauntlets, and he has four plus one enchanted javelins That's that he did good. not have an opportunity to use this battle. Oh yeah. Mm. Like a holding. Okay, I'll take. I those. already called I'll, green bead. Yeah. I'll take the plus one. There's javelins. nothing on there. I don't know. And I'd like to put the, the skin of the flayed skin in the in your. Uh, so, so mark that. Mark that in your refrigerator bag. The flayed bear tattoo of Kevin. Flayed bear tattoo. That's disgusting. Got it. That's awesome. Um, I'm gonna wear it. General other armor. Just Hannibal. Order staff. You do find one potion of greater healing. He did not have the opportunity to try. Nice. I'm That's that all down. he has on him. Okay, um, I'm going to spend uh, the rest of the time that they did that ritual uh, gathering up the bodies, the okay. remaining bodies. I'm going to fix my gun. Okay. Make a tinkering check. Just barely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to heal up. By one point. Too. Okay. Did not break. Good. <laughs> all right. I'm going to start a fire to like a, a small. Fire there is already a fire going. Is it? Well, it's it's, it's now em, like slower burning embers now of one of the barricades that had been set fire by the fireball earlier. Stoke it, and then I'm going to 
Put the bodies on. Okay, so you start taking the the, the bodies of the uh, the dead villagers that had been lost in the battle and right. a handful of the other combatants that had fallen. And you kind of just throw them onto the fire and kind of crackles and burns over time. The smell of burning bodies kind of fills the space around it for a while. Um, we have a house to we have a house to procure some items from, and a conversation to have with Zamor at some point. And what time of day is it now? Are there any other um, Goliaths in the square that are lingering? Mm. Uh, there are three lingering that are just kind of keeping an eye. Can I walk over to one? Sure. Tonight we prepare for an incredible battle. <laughs> Go. Release any meager prisoners you may have kept. They will do nothing for our fight. Very well. These two stay, though. No offense, but you did just kill one of my friends not for an hour ago. <coughs> I did. Bless you. And your claim is so fair. These two? Who's these two? Uh, this is the, there, there are three uh, herd members that oh, are set okay, behind. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> two of them are Goliaths, one of them is uh, human. Uh, human and the other Goliath stay behind. The one you climb to walks off and seems to be following through on what you told him to do. Is it, is it Lord Zanrod, by the way? I may request an audience with Lord Zanrod at some point, with your supervision. Yes, Should we, I've um... it. Now Thunder Lord Zanrod. You're right. Thunder Lord. Uh, Thunder Lord, yeah. Thunder Lord! I said that got, in my head. <laughs> we've got Pike's dad to find, we've got a house to loot. And a child to deliver home. Yeah. Did you want to look over the items you've found? I've got oh, fuck shit. Yes, may I please? And yeah. a unique opportunity to maybe really fuck up a dragon. Okay. If there's we your want blood to be axe. Smart. There's yeah, your titan stone. Oh. <laughs> Bowing down like he's been knighted. Hmm? We have a we have a dragon who's going to go pick up a giant package of whatever we give him. Oh shit! You're right. So we can make some interesting decisions on what's in that box. I um, love to I mean, do we have to stay in the square, or are we no. allowed to? It doesn't seem to be anything holding you there other than the ritual that was done. When the ritual is completed, you're welcome to go about what you're doing. And at which point you do see, like, as, as time has passed, a few people start kind of poking through windows, who apparently were either hiding in some of these buildings and see you guys and kind of just like check out and then go back into hiding again. Um, the town still has people living throughout it, but many of them just kind of stay hidden whenever things move in their vicinity. Okay. Um, so. What's our what's our thing? Do we want to achieve anything else tonight, or just rest? I feel like we should return this little boy. And go find. Room. And see, see if, if we, we can, can find, find her. In the short term, we should be able to walk freely about. Yeah. All right, so as you guys gather yourselves, partially rested and Breathing a sigh of relief of the not horrible circumstance that nearly transpired there, thanks to the luck of the gods in a lot of cases. I, mean, I can't believe we're I not mean. all dead. You, um, you make your way northward through Westruin towards the Temple District. Small child at your side with the intent on trinket, on trinket, mm -hmm. by your side, um, and possibly to prepare for whatever the herd has in store for dawn. And with that, we'll finish tonight's game. Oh. Wow. Now we're going to have to have another huge conversation. We didn't die! We didn't die. I, I seriously I thought we were we all going to die. Could when have. It, uh, when he got Could healed have. and everything yep. was running. Yep. I was just, I was like, yeah, I mean, we, we might had as well him, cool because we're dead. Then it flipped and it was gone. And we were And like, then we snaked it out of the fire. But we there had was them no on the run. Reason. He, by the way, on that whole person, the cutting words whole person, like, Dude, that's yes, exactly give what it up for the fucking bard. <laughs> who has an article <laughs> in uh, Gearbox Machina. Oh, yeah, um, appearing tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, but I don't even know if I'll be reading Kevdak it. Kevdak hadn't be, used his action surge yet. Tomorrow. <laughs> what was that? Kevdak hadn't used his action surge yet. 
Action oh surge. Oh my god. What does that do? It's, a multi, it's, what, it's, what, it's what I do. What he doesn't take an extra extra action. You do four, he, four attacks in one he, round he with the do blood axe. Did he ever get to attack? Uh, no. No. Yeah. no never. He couldn't make his save. Gone. His arms were gone by the time he came around. Could have shit would have kept dog. Could have shit would have kept dog. You did. It was really good. Yeah. So many <laughs> good. Plus, things. he had the re he had four more superior exactly. superiority die and the repost ability, so he could. What's repost? Uh, uh, when a creature misses him with a melee attack, he can use one of his superior die to do a reaction attack as well. So we couldn't hear he get five attacks on one. Repost. Repost. Sorry. Repost. Holy shit. Wow. That's that half fighter side, right? Yeah. That's sexy. Yeah, that whole person kind of really changed the dynamic yeah. really fast. Yeah. We had a very heated discussion over the earring in that 30 seconds, let me tell you. Well, no, we uh, had that whole long walk. That was that's the theory. That's true. Like, we had a long walk I to think be like, that was the most stressful was, game I've ever this played. This is incredibly stressful. That is the most stressful game I, I've, I've ever played died, in my life. Dog died. I really rough. thought oh, that I was, was it. Oh, I was about to be toast. Yeah. I was on. Um, Two more hits from that, that guy, and I would have been the enemy. Fucking. Oh, that was three. pretty clutch. That was a three-hour battle. Yeah, we did nothing but fight. And and honestly, kind of kind of mucking it up with the archers kind of helped too because they were all about to just start focus firing on whoever was visible. Yeah. Oh. So I'm glad we split them up. Durns getting Grog out. So there's some getting Grog out was key. You if you hadn't pulled her, if you hadn't pulled them out and taken all those tax opportunity, that was it. You would be gone. I was at twenty. They weren't. Like, they weren't going to stop when you hit zero. No, no, that would have been. Yeah. They were going to cut you up until you were dead. Yeah. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, that would have been the end of it. Look at that. That was, that was a really good <laughs> Oh, look at the face. You saw it too, yeah, didn't you? The shadow of a man that wished he could have butchered no, someone <laughs> and didn't quite get to. That is the face of the fucking The devil. shadow of Craven Edge <laughs> lived by its own. It's okay. It's a bunch of dudes. You guys have dragons to deal okay. with. Oh god. I'm so excited. All right. Well, guys. Uh, Thank you very much for watching. Thanks again for Loot Crate for being awesome and uh, being our sponsors this time. Um, if, if he's still around, is our guest still around? Is he? Is he, is he still no, here? No, there's no way. Uh, we it's super late. Why don't you it's so late. late. Why don't you no mention way. the Loot Crate oh. link? We'll again. see if we bring him in. Oh, yeah, we should mention flash the up the Loot Crate link yeah. and we'll be tweeting oh, yeah, that out the later. Yeah, the Loot Crate link. What is yeah, that? Yeah, it's uh, www slash critical role. So, so, so that's five W's. And and the code is critical not critical role. It's critical role. Yeah, they didn't coordinate with Wormwood. Missed opportunity. I got loot crate for my little brother. It's his. It's his nerd of the month. It's the best. I have loot crate and it's the best. Yeah, it's this kind of the smash. Every time it arrives, we're like yeah. And it's like a little present to yourself that you forgot you got. We may or may not fight over it. Also, I like anything I don't want. I put into a into a big bin, and at Christmas, I'm Santa Claus to all the kids on the block. It's like it's intense. They all want to know. What's up with me? It's, it's like, fantastic. It's great. All right. Well, I, I, I guess if they're finding out. In the meantime, uh, we'll be back next week to see what this next chapter in the Western Man. portion of this adventure holds. Uh, I hope we get to rest at some point. Well done, guys. Yeah. That's the largest battlefield I've made so far. Yes, it is. Amazing. What a fucking beautiful map. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Dwarven Forge. Thank you, Dwarven Forge. Thank you, Dwarven Forge for. Yeah. Is he right here? Oh, oh, we lost him. Well, we had the pleasure of having uh, Patrick Rothfuss in the off, uh, office today to watch the game. Um, so wherever you are, Patrick, a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, and, uh, big maybe fans. We'll, maybe yeah, we'll big drag fans. you. Very big, big fans, fans. Big fans. Maybe Huge we'll drag fans. you on the on the show sometime. Next time you're in LA. Yes. So, anyway, guys, have a wonderful evening. We'll see you next week. And uh, is it Thursday yet? Uh. <laughs> <laughs>
does Loot Crate obtain such exquisite geek and gaming treasures every month? They rely on the best. Every month we curate an epic mystery box of ridiculously cool surprises with amazing themes like cipher and fantasy. Heroes, villains, you get it. Every last crate containing exclusive one-of-a-kind items. Then I deliver it to you for under 20 bucks a month. And I guarantee it'll be worth at least twice that much. You're welcome. So get yourself a Loot Crate. Seriously, you already missed out on this one. LootCrate.com. Epic wins every month.